defect. All right, so let's try this one. A combat automaton, which became self-aware. Ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs. At the start of each combat, channel one lightning. All right, so we got to figure out what that means because I don't know what that means, but HP gold seems similar to the other ones. Let's do it. Let us embark. Hello again. <laughs> I like how it's just this cosmic whale of doom. I don't know. Uh, I brought you back. I feel like... Oh, it's the same bonus as before. I like the max HP because... It's better in the long run, I think, than just having three easy combats. I wonder if there'll ever be different things, though. All right, the double minion path is on the left. So let's uh, start out there, do some double minioning. And let's do double question mark too, that sounds fun. <laughs> okay, so we have this. We have this new passive thing, or I can evoke. Uh, at the end of turn, deal three damage to a random enemy. Or we can evoke, deal eight damage to a random enemy. How do I evoke? Okay, at the start of each combat, channel one lightning. Channel. Channeling an orb puts it into your first empty slot. If you have no empty slots, uh, your first orb is automatically evoked to make room. How do I evoke it? I wonder if I just click it. I'm gonna test this. No, I don't seem to be able to click it. How do I evoke it? Um, sometimes you get an easy elite fight. Yeah, that makes sense. You've worked over 400 hours. Welcome, 8 at 8. Cosmic whale. We're back, Zeus. For anybody just coming in, we beat, we played the game for the first time yesterday. Um, I lost to the, what I now know was the final boss on my first run. Um, but then my second run, we won as the poison person. And now we're trying the third character. So we've won on the second character, lost on the first character, and now we're trying the third character. We're just getting started here. Uh, okay, so we have the, the normal stuff here, defense and strikes. I don't understand how to evoke this though. I'm hoping I figure that out at some point here. But uh, let's see, it's gonna hit for 11 and I have three energy. I guess let's defend twice, strike once. Let's see what happens. So it's gonna hit me for one and then I get another orb? Wait, oh, at the start of each combat. I'm still confused about that. Oh, evoke your next orb twice. How do I evoke it? <laughs> um, all right, channel one lightning. Oh, so I have the ability to gain more of these. So if I do this, oh, evoke your next orb twice. Consume your rightmost orb and use its evoke. Okay, so it'll deal eight damage twice if I dual cast, I believe. Okay, so that took my orb, but then did a whole bunch of damage. I see. Cool. Hiya. All right. Nice. But if I would have left it, then I guess it would have continued to do passive damage. Yeah. So the downside of evoking it is then it won't do its passive damage anymore. But it makes sense to, to just finish stuff off, though, I suppose. So we can just boom, boom this guy. Cool. All right. So we're kind of like a lightning mage robot of doom. Hi Choco, good evening. Welcome, hi D. Have you played this in D? Oh, it's okay, you don't have to worry about the, I, I was curious about the evoke thing. I don't really mind if someone told me, told me about it or not. Like, it doesn't seem like it's a huge spoiler. Seems like we figured it out right then. I love this little in combat resource management. Yeah, it does sound like it's gonna be interesting managing the orbs now. All right, so we can apply some vulnerable. Do like that. Uh, deal six damage to all enemies and draw a card. Channel two frost. Wait, we're not just lightning. What? We got frost? Okay, what does frost do? Frost is like a blocking thing. Ooh. Okay, well, I just really want to try frost, so I'm gonna get this, because I don't know what frost is going to do. Cool, frost. Yes, this is the third run, Jimmy. How difficult was Tunic for you out of 10? Uh, 
eight. It was pretty hard. Tuna card game. <laughs> but you can adjust it in the settings if you don't like uh, want it to be too hard. Zap. Okay, let's try this. Gain some block, get some frost. At the end of the turn, gain two block. Or I can evoke it to gain even more block. All right. Now, if I channel a lightning right now, I wonder what will happen. I'm gonna test this. I'm assuming it's gonna get rid of one of my... Okay, it gets rid of that one. And then gave me a new one. All right, so we gain a whole bunch of block. I like that, you can kind of have defensive orbs up or aggressive orbs up. Huh. Your last game was fun to watch, two lost of strategy. Yeah, that was like, it felt like playing a combo deck to me in Magic, it was cool. Do you have an end goal in mind for Say the Spire? I want to beat the game with every character, but I don't know what exactly exists in the game to do after that. Um, you like the defect because of the orb management? Yeah, I didn't realize there were different types of orbs too. That's super cool. Um, okay, we should be able to finish this one off, so let's do that. And it's coming in for five damage. Um, just make sure I don't take any damage at all. Do that. Because I'll gain a whole bunch of block. Very nice. I've played some card games and some roguelikes before, Wog. Um, let's get some lightning going here. Yump. And then your next orb. I'm assuming my next orb always refers to the one on the right. Just to make 100% sure that I understand that, I'm going to test that. Yeah, it's always the one on the right. Okay. Cool. Just want to do a little test there while we have the opportunity. Oh my god, this game is so fun. I love this game. Channel 1 Random Orb? Chaos. Channel 1 Frost. Draw a card. Gain six block, decrease this card's block by one this combat. So, okay, the, as you use this one more, it's less useful. I mean, I like the idea of drawing cards and channeling more, but random orb. <laughs> Chaos. Yeah, we're playing the new character. Uh, Corkat, thank you for the 30 months. I'd love to see you getting sucked into this game just like I did. It's really fun. Yeah, Peter, that's the best. Uh, if people backseat too much, then it's, it's... I do want to learn stuff myself, you know? I feel like I made a cool deck last time. On my own? Uh, Maxwell, thank you for the 20 months. Says, I really shouldn't start watching soon this late. Who am I to tell me what to do? <laughs> Welcome back. You can always watch the VOD or YouTube. A quality of life setting? Sure, Buzz. And thanks for asking. Um, there's a difficulty setting. Would you be interested in going for max difficulty wins? Yes. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um... You can get the downfall mod and play a bunch of bosses. Ooh. That makes animations faster. Yeah, apparently everybody plays on fast mode. I'll do that as soon as I feel like it's going too slow. Don't worry. The run... Hey, we won, Bunnelby. Literally beat the game on that run. Um, I also did just post my previous runs on YouTube. Um, oh. There we go. Second channel, if you're more into that. Um, okay, what should we do here? Let's see. Um, I don't mind card recommendations at this point, by the way. If you guys are like, I love Cool Headed, or I love Chaos, like, even if they're bad suggestions, I don't mind that at this point, because I've already beat the game once, so. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go random, though, just because I don't even know what, it just sounds fun. <laughs> it just sounds fun. Let's get some Chaos going. Let's see, you come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shiny gold idol. Mmm, shinies. It looks incredibly valuable. You don't see any traps nearby. <laughs> Alright, what's the... What's the worst thing that could happen if we trigger a trap? Oh god. <laughs> uh, you grab the idol and stow it away a... Oh, as you grab the idol and stow it away, a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling. You realize the floor is slanted downward as the boulder starts to roll towards you. Um... Okay, Curse would put a card in our deck that we can't play. We could just straight up take 20 damage right now, which we could heal up later or lose some max HP. I'm tempted, I'm, I'm deciding between uh, getting smashed by the boulder and taking damage or just becoming cursed and then trying to sell the card later. I think the easiest thing to heal though is just to heal the 20 damage. So let's just take 20 damage. Hopefully we're okay with that. And we got this thing. Enemies drop 25% more gold. That sounds nice. It'll pay for itself. It's fine. Um, I do want to try to fight this elite though. So let's make our way there. 
He wasn't gonna take the shiny. <laughs> the cleric, a strange blue humanoid with a golden helm, approached you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I am the cleric. You interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Uh. Ooh. So I could heal 20 HP. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like that's. I feel like that's a solid play right now. We spent a little bit of gold, but we're gonna get way more later. I like it. All right. Literally fixes the last of it. Uh, you walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach, an enormous serpent creature appears within. Ho, 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 hello, hello, what have we got here? Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. Oh my God, look at these teeth. Look at those teeth. Um, the most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Oh, <laughs> oh man, we get 175 gold, but we get a curse card. And at the end of our turn, we gain a week. All right, my inclination is to take the gold, and then we just purge the card, and then we get 100 extra gold. Win, win. Clearly, we're not gonna lose immediately. Yes, this will all be worth it. <laughs> right. I can fight an elite with a curse of weakness. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, they're all, they negate buffs. Ooh, let's probably, we got nine damage coming in. Let's get a glacier up so we just have some nice, we have that coming in. And then I could just evoke, do I want to use chaos right now? I kind of just want to use chaos and see what else we can get. Cause it's going to evoke that and just, what are you? Dark orb. What? At the end of turn, increase this orb's damage by six. Just six damage to the end with the lowest HP. I see, so it ramps up over time. I like it. Cool, cool. We're getting four block every turn. Let's go. You're super addicted? Yes. Uh, we got a whole bunch of days cards. Great. We're going to be drawing crap soon. That's okay. We got 18 damage coming in, though. So, um, let's see. If we... Ch if we channel a lightning, it will sack one of our blocks for five blocks. So that'll be five, seven. Oh, we could. Do we want to just try to block all this? Yeah. Let's make sure we keep blocking. All right. Let's get a bunch of block rolling in, and then let's channel some lightning, which will uh, use up one of our blocks. All right. Kaboom. We'll only take one damage. Uh, Ross Nelson, they gave the 20 months. Uh, discovering this game is fun. Um, most common optimal choice on high ascension. I don't even see, I don't know what any of these words mean. Evoke your next orb twice. That would be a bunch of block, which we don't really want right now, but I'm also, oh, I'm also full of crap right now. Um, only nine damage coming in. I guess we do take the block. Right. Oh, yeah. That'll prevent the damage, and then we can just, uh, start dealing some damage ourselves here. Probably focus on just getting rid of one of them. This one's lowest, so why don't we just focus on getting rid of this one? Alright. We can do so much damage once we can evoke this, uh, Dark Orb. So many days, cars. Ah, my deck is turning into garbage. Oh my god, I have like an entire deck of days cards coming up. Um, yeah, let's um, channel a lightning, and then we'll channel a chaos, and it should use this and deal 24 damage and kill that one. Which is not, yeah, good, good, good. All right, we finally got rid of that one. Now we got another dark orb. Excellent. Mm, all right. Defend as much as we can. Hopefully we'll be okay here. This is looking a little bit sus, but with how many days cards I have in my deck. Um Well, only one thing we can do here. Let's try to start working on taking this one out. We'll take a bit of damage here. Hopefully we can evoke this guy. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, 
I'm inclined to play the Glacier just to get some damage coming out. And then this will kill one of them. Yes. There we go. We got tons of block. Let's go. Yeah, an Ouija. It's so good. All right. Our hand is slowly becoming bad, but it's almost dead. So we're doing okay, I think. Got lots of block. Love these orbs, and I can't wait to see all the new. Oh my god, my hand! I can't wait to see all the new cards we can get, too. Alright, it'll die in two turns just from passive lightning damage, so I think we're good. We got plenty of block. Oh, uh, die. <laughs> Alright, we got so much money, too. Look at how much money we got. Why does it say 35 gold 9? Oh, it's because I got 9 extra from my golden idol, I think is what that means. It was 35 plus 9, if I can math, and I maybe can't. Um, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with extra energy. Okay, I like that. Reboot? Shuffle all your cards into your draw pile, draw 4 cards. That seems great. For 0? seems great um oh wow aggregate so if you have a big deck you get a lot of energy that's just like a ton of energy i love that Ooh, i like both of these cards they both seem good gosh reboot just seems too good to i i just love cards like this like zero draw four cards hello how can i say no to that It'd be good to have with this because we could gain a bunch of energy and then reboot. But let's just take reboot for now. What does the gold border here mean? Does this mean it's a rare card? That was my suspicion, but I never figured that out last time. All right, and then let's make our way to the second elite. Gold is rare. Hi, Ray. Yes, reboot. All right, well, we do need to have enough energy to actually make reboot useful, but hopefully we'll get there soon here. Uh, love my glacier. And perhaps I shall just... Well, let's see. Bunch of damage. I have 7 block, uh, 9, 11. That's perfect to negate all that damage. So let's just work on killing this one. Nice. Gold board is rare. Blue is a common. Gray is common. Reboot is part of the power died. <laughs> Uh, we can do lots of damage with this. Yeah, and get another lightning rolling. And let's just make sure we don't take any damage. This guy is very fun so far. I'm slimed. I have been slimed. Chaos. I just want to see what else I can get with chaos. All right. Mm, darn, don't really need to do anything. All right. I guess if it'll just die from the passive damage next turn. I've been licked. The claw. Yes, it's my first time, Viscount. Um, I can just end turn and it dies. <laughs> All right. So we have. I have so much gold. Holy moly! Channel one plasma. What's a plasma? Oh man, deal seven damage, draw one card for each unique orb you have. I love that. Mm, but I need to get some, what is a plasma? What is a plasma? Gains energy. That sounds good. If this gives me extra energy, I like that. I feel like I need more energy right now, so. Because drawing extra cards, like, I can't even play all the cards in my hand as it is. Let's look, let's, let's hope that that gives us energy. Okay, do I have anything? I could upgrade cards or do an event. Is there anything that's, like, shouting at me to be upgraded? I wonder what a reboot upgrade is. Maybe it's just draw five cards? If upgrading chaos gives me two random orbs, that'd be nuts! I, I kind of just need to, I kind of want to see what my upgrade options are here. What happens if I upgrade this? Two random orbs! Yes, I love that. Holy shit. Okay, that's just... I've channeled three frost, I might consider it. Channel one plasma. 
Okay, it costs less mana f or costs less energy for this one. Hmm. I mean, I'm real. What is this gonna do? Oh, it just makes it free. That's that's a nice upgrade too. Is this two lightning? No, it just makes it free. Oh, I can't. I, I can't say no to this. I can't say no to this. You can right-click cards to see their upgrades. Uh, it helps in selecting cards. Oh, thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. Okay, I want more random orbs. <laughs> Let the chaos reign. And we get a chest. Or a calcum. This is Terraria now. If you enter turn without block, gain six block. Nice. All right. So we've already always got at least a little bit. I really wanted to fight these extra elites. But, well, we'll, we'll just have a shop here. I just, I have 360 gold. So I feel like I really want to spend it. But I really want to fight all the elites. I feel like it's fun. And we get good shit. So let's go this way. Uh, lots of damage coming in, but we do have some chaos. Yeah, we need to like gain more energy. Oh, I have. Hold on, why do I have five energy? Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat. That is good to know. Okay, I'm definitely gonna start with chaos. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, and um, we have a lot of damage coming in, so let's uh, let's play this. Deal some damage there. Poke your next orb twice. Um, shove all your cards into your draw pile. Draw four cards. What do I really want right now? Dual cast is like, I feel like I should wait, but it is just, it is 12 damage. So like, maybe we just do it. Um, it's not, wait, will it kill it with, I'm gonna do 12 damage and then 18. It won't quite kill this one. I almost want to try reboot and see what we get. Let's do it. Um. Well. <laughs> uh, at least we won't take any damage if we do this. I kind of want to let this one get higher though. Let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. I'm going to do 23 damage though. So I guess we just need the... Uh, we need the shield right now, to be honest. All right, now we won't take any damage. There we are, we blocked it all. Chaos, <laughs> yes, I just can't stop using chaos. All right, what is this one? Oh, at the start of your turn, gain an extra energy. I love that. And you can evoke it to gain even more energy. Yeah, that's great. I definitely want plasma in the mix here. Um, we're already gonna block. We already got 10 shields, so we just do damage here. Nice. We're gonna get extra energy next turn. Chaos is a very Carl card. Uh, Broken Brother, the other bits is great roguelike choice. I hope you consider the new Slice and Dice builder game as well. Is it, is it called Slice and Dice? What's it called? Fusion, more plasma. Um, let's see, they're doing a ton of damage. So dual casting uh, my frost thing wouldn't be the worst idea here. It's a roguelike with dice placement, interesting. But, um, how do I want to do this? More plasma. If I get a plasma, that'll automatically use that. Then I could dual cast this to gain like tons of energy, but I guess I don't really have much to do with that. <laughs> as much as that sounds fun. These guys are doing a lot of damage though. Maybe I can kill this one. That would actually be really good here. Um, do I have some way to kill it? I can just strike it twice. Honestly, this thing just needs to die. There we go. That prevents a lot of the damage that would have come in. Um, and then I guess we'll do this to... I will get six block for doing nothing, though. Mm. Let's see. Well, let's just prevent as much damage as we can. I think that's good. All right. Now we don't get hit. This guy is doing lots of damage to us, though. Um, ooh. 
I can gain so much energy. Can we use that much energy? Not really. It would be nice if I had that other card that gives me just more stuff. Uh, channel a plasma. Oh, if we could cast this, we would do so much damage. Hmm. Let's get another plasma out. Probably just dual cast and just use everything. Gonna take a bit of damage though. I guess it would have been better to not use defend and take in the six from this, like for some min max purposes. But also, ouch, we're gonna get it for a lot. I need to finish this guy off. All right, I need to evoke this guy. Here we go, this will do it. Yay. Undead. All right, nice. Speed potion, gain five dexterity for one turn. All right. Chaos. <laughs> Channel X Lightning? Whoa, that's kind of wild, though. Uh, gain block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. That's interesting. If we start getting a deck where we're, like, going through lots of cards, that would especially be nice. Um, I'm interested in Tempest because using my Plasma to get a lot of energy, I could just be like, la -la 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 -la, lightning all over the place. I forgot a Calcum. <laughs> Uh, Hawk, thank you for the 100 bits. Says, Slay the Spire is my favorite roguelite. I'm glad you're playing it. I'll watch the VODs, though, because I'm in Europe. All right, get some sleep. Thank you. Every card game roguelite is inspired by Slay the Spire. In the same way that every trading card game is inspired by magic. Is that you could do again with Tempest and Energy? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, but this is fun. I do like Chaos. I'm going to get Tempest. It sounds, it sounds like it might... Oh, that wasn't even the boss? Oh shit, we're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> that wasn't even the elite. Uh-oh, uh I'm worried. Well, we could strike it a bunch, or we could just play Tempest. <laughs> zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. It's enraged. All right. Uh, well, Glacier might be nice here. Mm, I do like Fusion too, but I, God, Fusion would help us in the future, but I feel like I need to not take 20 million damage right now. How much damage would it be though? Cause we get six of it blocked. We take eight and just go for damage instead. How would that look? We would channel a plasma and then zap it, and then we would get a lot of energy for next turn. Ah, I'll play it safe. Oh, shoot, is it? What does it do? Whenever you play a skill, it gains two strength. Okay, we gotta be slightly careful about that. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, it's getting stronger. <laughs> Maybe I should have used my speed potion. ruh -ro. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, I, this is moderately bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hopefully next turn it doesn't just hit me for super, oh, it's just gonna keep chunking me. All right, well, this is great. Everything's fine. All right, I might need to use this speed potion. We'll see how it goes. Got two random orbs, let's see what happens. It just keeps gaining tons of strength. Ah! Uh, don't like this. <laughs> don't like this. <laughs> this guy is bad. This thing, okay, the, the, what I'm banking on is that we're going to be able to kill it with one big hit of this, but how are we going to survive until then? This is kind of like counterproductive defending, and then it just gains more strength. But, like, what else do I do right now? Um... Oh. Okay, I really need to somehow get to this thing, but all and then like, oh god, if I could evoke it, that'd be great. All right, we're kind of fucked. <laughs> we're moderately fucked here. Oh my god. Dual cast will deal 16 damage. 
So we have that going for us. But we're also dying. <laughs> so we also have that going for us. Oh, if I cast fusion and then just draw a chaos, what is my chance of drawing a chaos? Pretty high, because I can reboot for it. Okay, my plan here is to, okay. Oh shit, <laughs> it's still not gonna die. If I use fusion and dual cast, it's gonna hurt so much. Shit. I feel like we gotta use the speed potion and defend, but it's gaining so much strength. This guy's, this is bad. I need to finish it off, but how am I gonna finish it off? I'll have a bunch of strikes. I think we just need to do as much damage to it as we can, even though we're healing it up. Even though, it, okay, we just, we're soon to kill it. If, as long as we can cast this dark, it'll die next turn. So, let's pop our speed potion, defend our brains out, and then next turn, pray that it dies somehow. All we have to do is evoke this, if the chaos will do it, right? Oh, chaos won't do it, but, oh my god. All right, hopefully some here, somehow here we can get this to work. Chaos, we'll take it to seven. Strike twice. Yeah, thanks, Frick. All right, whoo, that was almost bad. <laughs> that was almost bad. Start each combat with an additional energy. Heck yeah, though, worth it. Whew. Um, lose one focus? Focus increases the effectiveness of channeled orbs. I'm a little bit confused. I guess it's like if you don't want to use orbs as much. This is, I think, permanent for that, or for that round, I mean, at least. Hmm, cold snap is nice. At the end of combat, heal seven HP. Interesting. So that's at the end of the entire fight, though. So that's like if you're already doing well with your deck. That would be a nice way to heal up. But the thing is, is that like you're going to if you're using cards like this, then you're going to take more damage during fights. So I'm a little bit concerned by that. I like how this is just damage and frost. Like we do like some frost. It will tell you if it's temporary on the card. Yeah, OK. Um. So my attacks will do more damage and I'll get more block from cards, but my channeled orbs won't be as good. Maybe if you upgrade that and it's like two of each, that could be nice. <clears throat> Don't know. Similarly, upgrading this could be nice. <sighs> yeah, Cold Snap seems like the play for me here, but I'm torn between self repair and Cold Snap. Chat like self repair. All right, let's try it. Oh yeah, preview upgrades. So it's just more. And then what is the upgrade on this? See, if it were channel two frost, I'd be all over that, but it's just damage. And then what's the upgrade here? Lose two focus, but gain two strength. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, Let's try self repair. We need some health right now. But I like cold snap too. Doubt. I need to get rid of this. Right, we gotta go shopping and get rid of this. Um, just doing DPS here. And there's no point in playing that, but no point in. It doesn't matter! Having the extra energy is gonna be nice. I'm frail though. It's still not hurting me. Uh, nice. Self repair will be good. Um,. Gaining some health, and then may as well just fill up our lightning orbs and start pew pew pewing because it's not hitting us yet. Don't think there's any point in rebooting. Reboot could be nice if we got more zero casts though. Apparently you unlock beta art, someone was saying. All right, it's coming in hot for 16. Um. We could hit it for, it's eight damage per, right? So that'll be 24 damage, but that's still not enough. 
24, 30 damage plus two. I think it exactly dies, right? Doesn't it exactly die from this? Um... Oh. No, apparently I didn't, I did not add the, the did not math that properly. <laughs> I should have used chaos because I think it's. Oh no, it did! I did math that properly. Okay, cool. Nice. You need to unlock it by redacted. <laughs> Blizzard! The damage equal to two. Wait, equal to two times the number of frost channeled this combat. This combat? Wow, so it really builds up over time. Um, gain one focus. Increases the effectiveness of channeled orbs. I'm kind of going for channeled orbs right now, so that's why I didn't take that other one. Um, I'm assuming if I upgrade this, it's gain two focus. I like that. Um, gain three block. Put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Hmm, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna see. Ah, oh, this is hard. It's hard to not take Blizzard. To all enemies. If we go for more of a frost build, this would be good. But we're kind of going for an everything build, so maybe we'll go for some more focus and see how it goes. All right, we should be able to get some stuff here at the shop. We got so much money. Every turn gain, every six turns gain one intangible. Reduce all damage taken. Wait, what? Reduce all damage taken and HP loss to one. So basically every six turns you get, you can't get hurt more than one on that turn. Um, The start of boss combat heal 25, that's pretty nice. Uh, oh wow, upon pickup, raise your max HP by seven and heal all your HP. Well, first we need to do the card removal service on doubt. So let's first do that before we think about anything else. Cause I just, I feel like we just need to do that. Um, anytime you play five cards in a single turn, some point this might be nice. Whenever you received unblocked attack damage, channel one lightning. <laughs> For clock. Rip and tear. Waffle. <laughs> I like the waffle. Because we do need the heal right now anyway. Um, I like cold snap. I like glacier. you play five cards in a single turn maybe someday I'll be able to do that but I feel like I can't do that right now what are these potions play the top three cards of your draw pile that's a nice one to have gain three thorns that's not very good all right I'm gonna get the waffle and then it's just a question of do I spend any more money or not I'm eyeing glacier I'm not gonna lie I do really like it Um, frost orbs and static discharge combo well. Shouldn't that be the opposite? Because you won't be... <laughs> you won't be receiving unblocked. Oh! Whenever you receive unblocked attack damage. So that just means, like, if you block all of the damage but one, you would still gain... This, right? Whenever you... I like this card. I like this card. Yeah, this is third ever run. I'm gonna try it out. Um, I'll try Glacier because I really like it. I'm probably spending... I don't know. We're trying stuff. Let's go. Ooh, these guys. Tempest. <laughs> uh, send it with Tempest. Kind of tempted. Kind of tempted. I mean, we could defend and prevent damage, or we could be absolute. We could we could probably just Glacier than Tempest for two, instead of going absolutely nuts with Tempest. Tempest would be lots of damage, though. Um, maybe I'll be. I'll try to be a little more conservative and do it like this. All right. 
balanced approach. I need to really get some more stuff worth rebooting for her. Need some like zero costs. Ah! So much days. Ooh, gain one focus. Okay, I really want to see what this does, so I'm probably gonna just use it. Yeah, let's see what this does. Okay, I gained a focus. So now if I look at this, oh, the orbs have a little, okay, it's not it's not that better. It's just like one more block, one more damage. But I guess I guess I could see it ramping up quite well though, if you, cause it's a permanent increase in my focus. I've got to like upgrade that card and make it do two focus. That would be snazzy. All right, um, let's play Static Discharge because we're probably gonna take some damage here no matter how I do it. And then, um, oh, this will give me seven HP, whereas this is only preventing five. So maybe in the end, this is a little bit better. End of combat with seven HP because then I get uh, six, I get six block with this too, also. And then when they hit me and I received unblocked, so that blocked it all, but this one will channel a lightning when it hits me, right? Yeah. Oh, which <laughs> it was kind of, I, I see now because it gave me the defense, so it was kind of unfortunate how that ended up playing out, but I, I can see how I could, uh, I see how I could tweak that next time for greater effect. All right, let's get a plasma into the mix. Um, yeah, no point in playing defend. We'll just take our passive six block from the ore calcum and we'll just strike one of these nerds. Yeah. My cat just sat on everything. All right. Get our six block. We'll channel a lightning when it hits me. Thank you, Super. DS Twitch, I'm loving it. It's so good. It's so addicting. Love all the possibilities, too. Um, all right, can we... I mean, start out with a nice little... Or do I want to dual cast this bad boy? Actually, let's do this and dual cast Plasma. Oh, it uses two. Whoops. Shoot, I should have zapped. I can still zap though. I still have a lot of energy actually. This could be cool. Um, let me try this, this sounds fun. Um, I'm gonna dual cast plasma, get tons of shit. Pop a glacier, now that's how I wanna be using reboot. That's how I wanna be using reboot. All right, <laughs> drew a bunch of days. Um, well, we have 13 shield plus six, so we're already looking good there. Let's finish this nerd off. And may as well do this just to channel some more. Get some damage going. All right, that was fun. I have way too much block. We're so dazed though. Ah, come on. <laughs> Nothing matters. <laughs> Downside of going through my deck so fast. They're gonna daze me even more now. Uh, Super says, no spoilers about exceeding, but a bit of a question. Um, is fun to talk about some of the fun balance, even no cards to go through? Yeah, go ahead. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. Well, I don't have much of an option here. It would, in some sense... Well, I want the lightning. I want the lightning. <laughs> At least when the second one hits me, we'll uh, get, enough, get a lightning out of it. And then not be able to block it. <laughs> Random orbs. Um, this thing should die just from... Oh wait, well it'll also die from this. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. 15 block every turn is kind of cracked. 
We got the boot. <laughs> Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Now, if this counts my lightning orb, that's great. Um, the boot. <laughs> Goomba shoot, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Okay, that could come in handy in a clutch situation. Boot sequence, gain 10 block, innate. What does that do? Start each combat with this card in your hand. Oh, because it's a boot sequence. I get it. So you basically start with 10 block if you want it. Interesting. Um, amplify. This turn, your next power card is played twice. Ooh, gosh. Amplifying my plus focus and getting an increase on it would be sick. Like, imagine, like, a turn one amplified. I'm assuming the upgraded focus will give us four, give us two focus, so it would be four. It'd be wild. But the chance of me drawing them together is slim right now, so I'm scared of taking that one. Uh, claw! Deal three damage. Increase the damage of all claw cards by two. <laughs> <laughs> claw spotted. It's claw meme card in this game. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. Let's see what. Yeah, let's see what powers I have. What can I double with it? Oh, I could double the focus, self repair, or stat. Oh, I like all those. All right, I'm taking amplify. I feel like I'm already leaning towards going like a focus heavy build. So that's what we're gonna focus <laughs> on right now. Let's definitely do some smithing. And I want to see if this one will give me two focus if I upgrade it. Oh gosh, I really want that. Is there anything else that... Is this channel two? Whatever you use to take damage to lightning get channeled? That's pretty sick. Um, your next two cards. Oh, but it's only this turn. Draw, s oh my gosh, Reboot Plus is pretty hot too. Draw six cards. Oh. There's a lot of things that I wanna upgrade. Making this one free is nice. So many good things to upgrade. I am going to upgrade this one so we gain two focus out of it. Just for that hot moment when I so at some point gain four focus <laughs> at the start of combat. That'll be so sick. Oh man, that'll be so sick. All right, it's boss time. Let's see if we can do it. Waffle. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we can amplify this turn. Your next power card. Well, we can amplify static discharge. That's cool. Um. Wow, and because of our ancient tea set we have nine billion energy right now um all right let's amplify static discharge and and some lightning hexa ghost strike boom, boom. i wonder if it would have almost been better to just wait where's my f oh no it's that yeah okay all right, what's he gonna do? Yes, yeah, seven times six. You love to see it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Look on the plus side. Every time it hits me, it's going to channel two lightning. So we got that going for us. Um, <laughs> we're also gonna die. <laughs> oh man. Um. Well, let's channel some orbs, I guess. Right. Let's channel some orbs. All right. <laughs> well, we're dead, chat. <laughs> uh, there's no point in even playing the fen because our oracle is gonna do six. So I guess we're channeling a plasma. No, it's gonna. It doesn't make. If I channel the plasma, if I understand how static discharge works, it's gonna. For each time it hits me, it's going to channel two of those, which is going to help. Um, but the plasma would give me energy on my... If the plasma gets consumed during the opponent's turn, do I get the energy on my next turn or no? Um... Players forgetting Horikaku is a bit of a meme. Um... No. You do not. Well, 
I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I can throw an explosive potion at it. Let's see how this goes. The plus side is we're gonna get lots of lightning. The downside is we're about to get fucking annihilated. Look at that counter attack though. The counter attack is nice. Uh, at least we got a hot counter attack in there. Uh, well, sometimes, sometimes you just tempest. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes you just tempest. Uh, YOLO. Oh my gosh. I don't think reboot is useful right now. Look. <laughs> We're doing fine, all right? Everything is fine. Oh. Gain two focus, though? Hell yeah. That's... Um, I think self-repair is not useful this fight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we just go to max health, I think. So it's a question of, do I just... I think I... Do I just take one of the hits? Do I go to max health as long as I win? So in that case, I think I just use the strike to get this over faster and then just keep dealing dealing the DPS. Maybe even throw this explosive potion, but we'll, we'll do that next turn if we need to. Oh, because I'm not on ascension. So there's no point in playing this. Like, gets it out of my... Deck or something? I don't know. Let's play it. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, it's gonna hit me once. But we're gonna counterattack for massive damage. It almost would have been better to just take the damage there and just let it die. Alright, channel of lightning. Boom. We're nearly done here. And it'll just die when it hits me. Oh, no. Yeah, it'll just die when it hits me. So. Yeah. Oh. Actually, yeah, I want to use this so that it deals one damage to me and then it hits me and dies. I guess it doesn't matter. I could have just blocked it and then killed it. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter because I go to full health. Well, well, you know, that thing that... That double lightning thing was kind of nice. Um, Let's see. Mr. Carrot, thank you so much for the six months, says, Hey, I'm doing a new Dark Souls 1 run after say you give me a class. Not Sorcerer. Did that your first run, too. Yo, that's awesome. I want to go back to Dark Souls uh, and try different builds. Playing it gets it out of your deck to avoid wheeling it for letting the card come back around later. Mmm, so much gold. Attack potion. Oh, and there's three rares. I don't think I paid attention to that, but I assume that the bosses always give you three rares. Um, put all cost zero cards. Holy crap. Put all cost zero cards from your discard pile into your hand. I can, what was it, claw? <laughs> I'm assuming that this is the, I'm assuming that this is the, uh, this is the combo with claw. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Oh, that's what you meant, Mr. Carrot. Sorry, I'm dumb. Oh, uh, well, I always wanted to try the, um, Gosh, can you even do, like, bows in Dark Souls 1? I can't remember. Something with bows if you can. Um, High Court Hunter it is. All right. Let's see. Put one card from your draw pile. Wait. Put one card from your draw pile. In, put one card from your draw pile into your hand. I think this means you go and find anything and get it. Which could really be nice. <laughs> um, remove all your orbs. Ooh. But it says remove. It doesn't say... I, the thing I don't like about this card is that it removes them. It doesn't use them. Yeah, Demonic Tutor, right? Deal 10 damage. If I started, if I were to get more cost zero cards, I would be all over that. But I just don't have very many right now. I think I'm gonna get seek. Seek works really well with my with what I already have. Ooh, we get a relic. Double the effectiveness of potions. Does that mean I get to play two cards? That's really good. Um, all right, we just 
gain blank at the start of your turn. So we always gain an additional energy, but can't get any more potions. Mm. Always gain additional thing. Always gain additional energy, but we can no longer smith. It really feels like upgrading my cards is going to be key right now. Because there's a lot of my cards that are okay, but like would be really good upgraded. Like how I got the two focus instead of one. So I'm leaning towards double effectiveness of potions. Um... But also just not being able to get potions would be great too if we got the extra energy all the time. This deck does feel like it will use the extra energy pretty well. I like potions though. They're kind of fun. Oh, I'll get the Sozu. Tough there though. No longer obtain potions, but at least I already have these potions. More energy, more tempest. <laughs> True. All right, here we go. Um, I beat Act One, but will I beat Act Two? Um. All right, what do we got now? Do I want to try more elites again? It is a little scary, but we could fight a total of, let's see, just two, I believe. One, two. Yeah, because you can't fight both of those. All right, we'll go for the double elite path. Or maybe the left side is also a double elite path. No, it's not. Gotta go right side for two elites. Let's do it. Um... Right, this guy. This guy just uses a ton of block. All right. Ooh. Well, those shadow orbs are gonna be nice once they get cooking. I'm gonna let the shadow orbs cook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, whoa. <laughs> we can go seek. What would. Can I just kill it this turn? No. Hmm. I kind of want to seek the focus thing, but also just not taking 10 would probably be smart. <laughs> hmm. Can I just like seek a Tempest and win? Would it kill it? it deals 12 damage. Seeking a Tempest would do, would do 24 damage. It wouldn't kill it, but it would probably kill it on the next turn. Could go this route instead. Yeah, it's already up on car plan. All right, this is maybe not the smartest thing to do because we're going to take four damage, but we <laughs> Zap, zap, zap. Uh-oh. It's fine. Um, oh, it'll just not die, won't it? Dang, nab it. Just not die. Or will it die? Uh, will die. It will die. It will die. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Math. Oh, but I thought it said don't get potions. What happens here? You can no longer obtain potions. Oh, it just gets eaten by the Sozu. Alright. Um. Ooh, Glacier Plus. Double your energy. That sounds nice. Applying vulnerable would be nice to have something that can do that, though. Um. Potion suck. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Hard to choose here. I really like this. And I really like this. Double energy has meme potential with Tempest, so I'm doing this for the meme potential with Tempest. 
Question mark, question mark. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers. Oh, not the fucking masks again! No, 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 no. Not the fucking masks again. I, I, I got it. I got a bad face last time. I freaking got the bad face last time already. Good face this time for sure. <laughs> But it could be a good face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got I got a bad one last time. It's 50%. That means good one this time. That's just how statistics work. Bad face. Oh, oh my God! I love this combo though. Amplify defragment. Mm. Probably gonna just. What are we gonna go seek? Um, probably gonna go seek a glacier because they're doing hot DPS to us. Uh, let's seek a glacier. We. Um, yeah, not taking damage sounds nice. Nerds. This fight's weird because stealing the stuff doesn't seem to do anything. Like, you get it all back. So I don't fully understand that. Um, I will strike you. Hiya! Probably should just reboot this hand. Self repairs, okay, I guess. Um, I could just defend. No, because I get the six from Orc Halcom anyway. It almost doesn't seem worth it. Let's reboot it. Um, Alright, better to channel a lightning? Yeah, it does more damage. I shall strike you! Alright. Mug? What? Does it take an item? What was that? Um, double your energy. I mean... May as well. Bulk your next orb. If I use Glacier, then my next one... Here, I think I want to do it like this. You die. And then I use this to push my... To push my lightning up front. And then I double cast my lightning. Boom, boom. But I still need to kill this thing, though. Um... I'm not very fast at killing stuff, I notice. Not very fast. This enemy intends to escape! Uh, well, luckily it's only going to... Luckily it's only going to take 15 gold. I don't think it's worth blowing all my potions for 15 gold. Alright, fine, bye. Oh, maybe I should have played Glacier. It still wouldn't have killed it, though. Even with that, it wouldn't have killed it. Well, bye, nerd. I'm out of here. That's interesting. I've never had a character that doesn't kill them fast enough. So we're, we're definitely very... Uh, freaking Suzu, we're definitely very defensive. Faster than light. <laughs> what? You deal six damage. If you have played less than four cards this turn, draw a card. I mean, we, we like that. We like that. Um, steal four damage for each channeled orb. Can I get more orbs? Hmm. Um, gain seven block. Next turn, gain energy. 
Well, that's just a better thing than that, but I mean, I can't not take this one. Mugged! Dang. Got mugged. Um, we want... Let's take more question mark, question mark paths, because why not have horrible things happen to us? Oh yeah, these guys! Love these guys. Oh, double energy tempest. Let's go. <laughs> uh, if you ever play, yeah. Okay, we can do this too. Oh shit. Do I do this though? I think I. Yeah, I do that too. Uh, this is gonna be funny. Double energy. May as well do this. Do some damage. I mean, I think I should still cast this. And then Tempest. <laughs> Tempest for nine. Bo 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 bo. All right, we love to see it. Probably no point in rebooting. If I get more zeros, it'll be nice to reboot in a situation like that, but I don't have enough yet. Nice! Got one on turn one. Uh, well, now we can do damage. I guess this this character can do some, some hot damage. Um. All right. Let's work on finishing this one off. And there's no point in defending. Well, actually, if I use defend, then I'll take one damage, but I'll counter with... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll actually do, I'll take the extra damage, but do a little more DPS to them as a result. It'll go boom. And then when it hits me, it'll go boom. You got hit with Tempest, no! Um, I think we're done here. It's just, just chaos to kill it. Yay. This guy is cool. I really like this character. Apply three lock on. Lock on targets receive 50 percent more damage from orbs. Shit. Gain block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile plus three. Damn, that's really nice too. That's just a fuckload of block. Let's go for the eyes. The enemy tends to attack. Apply one weak. Could be useful. Um, this one seems like it could really be good on a boss. Like this is boss shred, and we need boss shred. Walk on set is used to say dark and lightning orbs prioritize hitting this enemy. Wow, that's so much worse. <laughs> Hi, Stockfish. I'm gonna go with Bullseye because I feel like we need some boss burn potentially. Question mark, question mark, baby. We get another mask! <laughs> oh, a long line of hooded figures are entering an unassuming cathedral. Naturally, you join the line and are surrounded by cur cultists. Caw, caw! Murder, murder! Caw! <laughs> you eye a donation box? Ooh, what's a ritual dagger? Deal 15 damage if fatal permanently increase this card's damage by three. Oh my gosh. Uh, just one high hitting thing though, like... I'll take the gold. I'll take the gold. Ritual dagger seems like it'd be interesting, but I don't think it fits in my deck. They didn't even notice. Nerds! Um, all right, let's go upgrade something. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Evoke your next orb twice. Okay, what do we want to upgrade here? Um, I like the idea of upgrading fusion because two, wait, what does upgrade Tempest do? Channel X plus one. That's not that good. It's not that good. Cause if I'm already channeling nine, it just makes it 10, you know? What is Seek? Holy crap! Seek is... Whoa! Hold on, that's really good! <laughs> Whoa... You can play it for zero. Yeah, it's true. Your next... I Amplify plus? Oh, Static Discharge plus would be so good, too. Hold on, where's that one I just got? What was that? Oh, it's already upgraded. Okay. I'm probably gonna get Seek plus. This just seems really nice. I can't say no to two cards of my choosing. 
And two card is double and tempest all the time. Truth. <laughs> True. Uh, hell yeah. All right, let's get bodied. MTG player going one, two different turns. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting self-repair a little bit. Um, well, we're boned here. Well, um, this isn't good. <laughs> uh, maybe we can use a potion or something. I don't know. All right, we can channel a lightning. We'll gain some health back in the end of all things. But like, evoking my orb twice is kind of like, eh, right now. Well, this is some shit. Uh, this is some shit. Which one do I want to kill first? I don't know. Imagine killing anything ever. Using defend is completely pointless. Um, I feel like I kind of need to use a potion here. Or we're going to get fuckulated. So, like, maybe we drink this and hope that it helps us out somehow. Come on, something good. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Channel a dark. Deal seven damage to random enemy for each lightning channel this combat. This one. <laughs> this one. I know I don't have any more potions, but I'm also dying. I don't know what channeling a dark. Oh, channeling a dark is just that thing. Okay. Poke your next orb twice. I mean, it's 16 damage, but. Sure. Just random damage, though. This ain't great. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, next turn will be better. I have a wound. That was a lot of damage. Alright. Um, well... Ay ay ay. Well, at least we're gonna take somewhat less damage. Not that much less, though. This is still bad. Oh no, our deck is very random. Our deck is so random right now. We need to, like, get rid of some of our defense. They're real bad. Especially with the Orichalcum. Defense are just taking up space. Oh. All right, well, we can FTL this nerd. I mean, Tempest for five will give us extra energy and it will deal a lot of damage. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I believe it'll give us some extra energy at the end here. Yeah. All right. Um, Poot, thank you so much for the sub. All right, how are we doing now? Can I take this one out? This is going to be to a random enemy, so I don't know if we're gonna get a kill here, though, which is a problem. I only have eight cards left in my deck. Whew. I could just reboot in the hopes that we're going to get even something like Bullseye or Chaos would be pretty good, but we can also just Glacier. Oh, if I Glacier, there's a hot chance that one of them's gonna die. Let's Glacier and see what happens, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I could use the potion. I'm tempted to use Reboot, but it might backfire pretty badly on me. Let's just try it and look. I think the worst case scenario is I'm not going to get anything worse than what I already had. Yeah. Um. This at least brings this one down to killable. Ah. It's tough to know what to do here. Because of the random targeting, I might get I might get slightly screwed 
if I use Glacier is my only issue. I could just use the Explosive Potion, and then I would be very safe. Probably not gonna use, I'm just gonna use it. It's not, it, it wouldn't be needed with good luck, but I don't know if I was gonna get good luck, it's the issue. Will this one die with eight damage? It'll deal seven, I think it will. Pretty sure they all die to this, but I might have miscalculated. No, they definitely have to all die to this. Let's just finish this one off. Yeah, it dies, it dies. All right, a little rough, but we made it out. Um, at the start of your turn, lose 15. Wait, at the start of your what? Calipers. At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block? What? At the start of your turn. Oh! You can over block. I, get, I, under, I understand now. <laughs> I understand. You can over block. That's great because I sometimes can really ramp a lot of block. Let's get more block. Um. Applying vulnerable would be useful to have, though. With the Aura Calco, it's like... Um, I feel like I should have something to apply vulnerable because it would help me deal some extra damage. And also having something to apply weak would be good because it would help me prevent some damage. So both of these have some utility. And I kind of want more zero casts in my deck, I feel. All right. We don't have a chance to rest before that elite if we do want to go that path. Well, we don't have to decide yet. Let's do this first. Vulnerable doesn't work on orb damage, really. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we can combo the shit out of this. Sneko, I love the Sneko. All right, we seek for double energy and possibly bullseye. Can I check what's already in my hand? Is Deep Fragment double energy? Wait, we already did this, right? Double energies, one card. Um, do I want to use Amplify or Law or Bullseye? Bullseye sounds amazing with this. I wish I could remember what this one says. Let's just try it this way. So, double energy. I don't know if it's more worth it to do that, but my plan was gain some folk. I don't know if it's better just have another one or to do that. We bullseye it, and then we Tempest for eight. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we have a lot of gold by the way. Um You have 15 damage, reduce the scar's cost by one this combat. Steam barrier. I'm probably going to get this because weak might bail my ass out sometimes. Did I already get that one? I got vulnerable, didn't I? It's sad that vulnerable, apparently someone said, doesn't work on orbs or whatever. I guess it's kind of like it doesn't work on poison. Makes sense, I suppose. I really need to delete some of these defends. Yeah, final vulnerable. Damn it, that sucks. I do like zero casting cost block cards though. And then like an upgrade on this would be nice. But similarly, this just takes a lot. This can take a big chunk off of stuff sometimes. Okay, question is, do we want to fight another elite or not? Um, The only issue is that I don't have a... Uh, my health is just a little low is the only issue. I'm gonna go this way because we can still choose later. 
97 gold. <laughs> Sick chest. Um, imagine a second double energy, right? Uh, I'm gonna almost certainly use card removal service to get rid of one of my defense. Okay. Ooh, I like metamorphosis. Um, metamorphosis works well with the shuffle thing. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand at zero. Nope. <laughs> um, oh, the game really wants me to play Claw. Deal seven damage. Claw and scrape. Um, hi, man. I love this game too. Yeah, potion belt doesn't matter when I can't pick up potions. Uh, whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. What? You always just keep drawing? Holy crap. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. So that means as long as you can keep playing them, you can keep drawing them. That seems good with double energy. Um, whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two far. Ah. I might take that. That sounds sick. Whenever you play a power card, draw one card. No. Nine block. Frost, draw a card. Do you not... Oh, you only get... That's interesting. This is a really interesting card. It's definitely designed to be used with Claw. <laughs> claw deck definitely seems very fun. All right, I'm going to get this unceasing top because... It just seems like an infinite combo of goodness and doom. Um, and especially good to get more zeros in my deck. Uh, yeah, Coheda did seem nice too, especially because we have calipers. So just getting, getting additional block is probably just pretty good in general. Found Claw Meta already. Um... But drawing cards doesn't matter as much anymore as simply using all the cards in my hand. Because whenever I run out of card, like drawing cards doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, drawing cards doesn't matter anymore. So I don't think anyway. I almost want to keep this because of calipers. Channeling a bunch of frost is nice though. Channeling frost matters. Especially with calipers. I don't know. I don't think I want to take any of these. But I can't decide. Let's keep going. Right. Um. Interesting. So we got... I forget what these guys do. Plated armor. At the end of its turn, gains 14 block. Receiving unblocked damage reduces it. Oh, okay. So I kind of want to hit it so that it stops doing that. On death, applies to vulnerable. Right, we've got a spore cloud. Um, this one's nice. Gaining two focus and static discharge are both going to help us out. But it feels like... So maybe I should reboot instead of using dual cast. I think let's get some other cards. Dang. Um, probably just use Glacier. Oh, let's see how it goes. Actually, yeah, that's gonna be good, because we'll only take one damage, and then it'll channel an extra lightning. This guy. Oh, hello, Tempest. <laughs> chaos. Probably use Chaos. Maybe I should have just used Tempest. But... Do I have enough block? I have 14 block. Yeah, plus that. We have enough block. So we can just Tempest the shit. It is going to cast Vulnerable on me when this one dies. Um, I guess if you think about it, this is one... 
one energy for two orbs, whereas this is just one energy for one, so it makes sense to dual cast this one. And then play Tempest? Or I could play two defense, like it wouldn't be the worst idea to play two defense, because I do I save the extra oh, I won't save any extra off of that though. Because they'll take me below 15. Okay. I'm kinda glad that this one didn't die to some extent. Just because it would have played vulnerable to me though. It probably doesn't matter much. Alright. Oh yeah, thank you for asking about spoilers. Um Well I guess you spoiled it. <laughs> the doubt like if you ask a question that provides information that's a spoiler, you're not avoiding spoilers. <laughs> like you just told me that there's a big reason why playing car tons of cards in one turn is scary. So think about what you just did, I guess. I don't know. Um, I guess I can only get stuff in my, I can only get stuff in my, um, draw pile. So seek when we draw a late game like this is less good. But we could, is there any point in double energying? Nah, I don't have enough stuff for that. Um, I may as well get two energy cards, or I guess just two cards that I want to use. Go for the eyes. Do I want a plasma? Nah. Just take some stuff, because I can use all of them. Alright. Do we want to finish off the nerd? Nerd is going to just apply a bunch of stuff. I'm going to get hit for 18. Maybe I should have... <laughs> I should have seen how much damage I was going to get dealt. Oops. I didn't pay attention to how much it was going to hit me for. Whoopsie doopsies. Um. Oh, apply vulnerable. Gosh darn it. I'm so stupid. I should have done this first. Oh. Should have done this first. Oh. Oh, whoops. Okay, we did. We misplayed that, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We're just gonna take 20 damage. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god, dude. Sometimes you're dumb. I should have applied weak to it. What I should have done is applied weak to it. That would have been so much. I've totally misplayed that. That was horrid. Um. Boom, boom. <laughs> Fire potion, deal 20 damage. Oh yeah, I can't use potions. <laughs> Rainbow. Ooh. Rainbow. Uh, compile driver. Deal 7 damage, draw 1 card for each orb you have. I like... Oh, it draws a card anyway, though. Hmm. Rainbow looks fun. <laughs> let's upgrade it, cause if it, let's see what happens when we upgrade it. I guess it'll probably reduce it. Anyway, we're probably not fighting that elite, sadly. Kind of dying right now, horribly. Kind of dying horribly, but we do have the double energy seek combo, so that's we got that going for us. Yeah, it looks like we can. Oh, upon receiving damage against three block, but it should still do lots of damage if we use bullseye. How do we want to do this? Bullseye Tempest is still fun. <laughs> Honestly, I should use this. I need the health. All right. Oh, it doesn't activate its thing. All right, well, that's a good combo still. <laughs> that's a good combo still. Called Snap Plus. We like that. Yeah.
Yeah, I just don't have enough life for this. Ah, oh, yes. This guy. Uh, chaos. I forget if our if it's better to do this one first or this one first. Let's just finish this one off fast. Got a lot of lightning. Oh, I should have applied vulnerable first. I always forget to do that. Cause I'm not used to having it in this deck. Kind of remember to do that. Yeah, oh well. Oh well. Whoops. Um, there could be an argument for not using Glacier in order to do more damage quickly. Uh, I guess it still does damage by channeling them, by evoking them, so that's still good. And then there's a chance we'll carry over some block. I guess it's gonna... We'll carry over what? One block? Yay! <laughs> I think that's 57 barrier. Oh, this could be nice though. Uh, let's see what we draw. Rainbow. <laughs> I want to upgrade that one. Um, do we go for, well, let's see what we have left in our deck. We still have double energy. We could still double energy Tempest. Um, but we don't have, hmm. oh, I have defragment in my hand. Question is, do I want to play Tempest or not? I wish it would let me look at my cards while I'm doing this. Let me know how to do that. So I can't remember which one that is, but I think I remember which one it is. Well, let's get one of those. It'd be cool to have two double energies. <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Yeah, gain two focus. Okay. Yay. Now, do we rainbow? Rainbow's better, right? We like rainbow. Rainbow is fun. <laughs> All right, it gave us 15 block. That's good. A week of this one. Oh, it negates it. Whoopsies. Oops. Well, tons of tempest. We'll at least finish that one off. Zap, zap, zap. Oh, I can amplify self-repair. I don't know how I never noticed that before, but that's nice. Um, it is gonna hurt me a bunch. I wonder if it'll die still, even if I amplify self-repair. Well, I can only do two strikes anyway, so nothing else to do. Um, 14 HP though, I'll take that. And uh, we're gonna kill it, so we're good. Zap, zap, zap. Yay. Oh. Oh, this isn't a potion. Is it? No, it is a potion. Discard a number of cards and draw that many. Yep. Oh, the Sozu. I don't know. I feel like I, I, would, I regret my Sozu decisions. And I should have done the one that was like double effect for potion instead. I think it would have been better than the extra energy. Um, Remove all block from the enemy. Deal 14 damage. That's interesting. It just depends on whether the enemy, we get a lot of high block enemies or not. Game block, you can other cards in your discard pile. I like that idea with calipers. Like, later on, this thing could save me. Like, I could gain, like, 20, 30 block in one round with this if I get it towards the end of my deck. Mm, I'm kind of intrigued by that. But this is 14 damage and all blocks, so, like, huh. I think both of these have good potential. I forget what the boss is, if the bosses even have any block. Um... That's true, Nachos. That's very true. It's a good way to look at it. Um, I 
Knowing me, I'll draw this in turn one. <laughs> if only we had a sideboard. I'm gonna get this because I think there's a chance that it will save my ass. All block. I'm gonna end up kicking myself if we fight something with a ton of block. Let's get stack. Ooh, a Sneko. Ah, yeah. Um, plasma, frost. Probably just want to deal as much damage as we can. We can double that one. Probably better to get a plasma than, or maybe I forget what the Sneko does actually. I forget what the Sneko does. Let's take the plasma and hope it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> Confusion. Oh, whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. That's right. Interesting. That's what the Sneko does. Channel one lightning for free. Do I want the extra? Yeah, I can use it. I can use the extra energy. Use all the things. Boom. Oh, I forgot when I run out. Of oh my gosh, I forgot when I run out of cards, I draw cards. I haven't used that at all. Holy crap, I need to use that. I've been horrible about using that. I need to use that. Um. What's in my deck right now? But it'll be random cost when I get it, which is a little weird. However, we do love Tempest. I mean, <laughs> Focus Tempest should just kill it, you would think. But I don't know what cast what costs they're going to have. Or do I Stack? <laughs> stack would be 12 block. Um Vulnerable doesn't help as much as I thought it did. I don't know how this is going to work because I think it's going to be random cost. Okay, that ends up being okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know how much this is going to do. Hopefully it kills it. Alright, it'll kill it. Poor Sneckos. <laughs> Gain 12 block. Stack plus! <laughs> oh. I like the idea of having two of them. <laughs> More block. Look, if I have enough block, surely I can't lose. I would love to upgrade a card here instead of healing, but I totally need to heal. Yeah, I totally need to heal. Oh. Let's just gaze at the possibilities of an upgraded rainbow. Nope, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It just doesn't exhaust. It's not as good as I thought. Um, upgraded reboots. Cool. Wait, what is upgraded? Oh, it's already upgraded. My um, energy thing. Okay. All right, well, we're resting. Boss time! Yeah, if I go through my deck, I can see why. Um, all right, let's go. There's a patch where they did change rainbow plus to be one energy, but the community asked for the change to be averted because infinite rainbows are more fun. I see. The Collector, I forget if I fought this one last time. Starting with Seek is so good. We do love starting with Seek. We don't like starting with self-repair, though. Seven energy. 
Um, pretty sure we tempest the shit out of this. Double energy plus. For sure, Z's. And this is like 14 tempest if we just send it with tempest. So like, it's kind of hard to say no to that. <laughs> Get some double energy. It's still more efficient to do this, I think. I don't know. It's a shame we didn't get the plus, though, or whatever. Oh my god, that's gonna give me a lot of extra energy. Sure, that's good. That's really good. Nice turn one. <laughs> oh. And we'll draw some cards. Cold snap, let's go. Keep it rolling. <laughs> well, doesn't really matter. Alright, 120 damage in one turn. Ah yes, the minions. Alright, stack is six. Rainbow looking nice right now. Um I need to get I need to I need to upgrade this because right now it's not it's not like super worth. Um I think we use rainbow. Let's see how it goes. Question Oh yeah, because of my exhausting cards, I don't have as many in my discard pile. That is a small issue, I suppose. Reboot. Do I reboot? Or do I just go with what I got? Take my six block and like it. Mm. Four strikes. I think it's not worth rebooting, though at some point it'd be nice to have enough stuff to actually make it worth it. Like, I could technically get an FTL and a beam cell, but I just don't think it's worth it. Well, hopefully we don't take too much damage here. We're gonna take a bit. Oh, did I not play Static Discharge? Did I not have it? Getting too focus. Ooh. Now we're getting 13 from it. I forget if I want to kill the minions or not. Apply a vulnerable. God damn it! I always, <laughs> I always do that wrong. Um. All right, let's get our focus. We didn't have that earlier, but that's okay. Apply a vulnerable. Probably not worth it, and I should just get as much block as I can. Well, we get a lot of block at least. But this is a little bit sus. This is a little bit sus. All right, static discharge would be good. Oh, I can dual cast lock on with this guy. That's interesting, actually. It's gonna deal a lot of damage if I bullseye him, and then I could just kill this one, but I don't think I want to. Um, bullseye dual cast looks nice here, though. Gosh. All right, we're gonna go for it. It's gonna deal a lot of, oh, it didn't, what? I think I misunderstood something there. I thought it had to target this one because of lock on. Oh, it doesn't have to hit it. <laughs> I see, I see. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I think in the end, the static discharge is going to really help me out. So I think I need to just do static discharge and let it hit me for one. Yeah. Oh, I get 14. No, it doesn't actually hit me. Dang it. <laughs> All right. It's going to summon more dudes, right? 
Oh. Oh my god, it applied like every debuff in the game. The debuffs don't affect this character as much. Next power card is played twice. Shoot, shoot don't have any. Um. Chaos, good though. Let's see. Deal 8 damage. Shame it can't quite kill this one, but let's kill it because it's going to do a bunch of damage. Um. Get some more orbs. Oh, great. Tons of energy. Let's just kill that one. Welp. This turn. I wish it wasn't just this turn. Alright, this is sketchy. I think it's going to summon two new dudes. Yeah. This is sketchy. I've got heavy debuffs. Um... Uh, let's do a glacier, get some more energy. Lots of block and some energy. Don't know if I should be focusing him or the small ones. I don't think I ever figured that out. I'm not doing too much either way here. Well, we can cast a lot of spells this turn, which is good. Cast. Glacier. <laughs> oh, can't use it. Dang. All right, this is weird. We do have ass loads of block. By a week. Do some damage from this. Apply vulnerable. Can I actually get some damage in? Not really, but we'll do what we can. Feels like I need to kill the collector, but maybe I'm making a mistake doing that. I don't know. Never figured out the right way to play this. We don't mind that. We do mind that though. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's confusing. This character has like a lot of potential, but if I, it's like very draw dependent, it feels like. I haven't gotten. Oh no, we started out with Tempest. Yeah, does Tempest get removed from the game? Um, Lock-on isn't helping me as much as I'd hoped because I misunderstood how it worked. Uh, well, <laughs> I think we're fucked. <laughs> Just got 15 block. Hmm. Maybe I should have killed the minions. It's hard to know what to do. Yeah, I think we're dead. I don't know. Can gain some block. I don't know which one to do it to. Do I lock on him and hope we ever get a kill here? It's hard to know. Um, I do strike. Dual cast. Of course it doesn't hit him. <laughs> and stack, I guess. Well, it's six. It's only 10 block. I get 6 anyway. So... Oh... It's 10 block. Oh, because it'll add the 8 from those, too. Well, keep going, but it's looking sketchy. Real sketchy. I do get some lightning orbs every time they hit me. So that's something. Right. Chaos. Chaos. Got that one. Um, glacier. Oh, maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Let's 
finish this one off. If we can. Maybe we can. Oh, well, we're at least getting a bunch of stuff going here. I don't know which one I should be killing. Darn. I feel like I never made good use of the um, unceasing top. I feel like I could have, but I didn't. Whew. We should be okay here if it doesn't summon anymore. I don't know if it will or not. damage. Don't know if it'll... It should make the difference in one of these killing it, perhaps? Uh, oh, that's just interesting. It does an additional damage because of that. Spike Glacier. Hope it kills that little dude. Well, I guess damaging him is good, too. Maybe this one will kill it. it did kill it. Alright, maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Pretty hard to use one. Well. Maybe we're doing okay. Do I have any powers? No. Uh, the thing that ended up removing block would have ended up being pretty nice. <laughs> well, we have lots of blocks, so that's at least something. Hmm. No point in using that. Oh, maybe there is actually. Wait, there is. There is a point. Top. We keep going with top. We keep going with top. The top's being useful. Top's being useful. Top being hella useful. All right, that was nice. It made me feel better about top. 50 block. <laughs> and some of it will carry over from our calipers. All right, things are going better now. Things are going better now. By week. That's good. All right, we do have a we do have the ability of gaining like insane amounts of block, which is nice. All right, we're good. I thought he was gonna keep summoning dudes. That's what scared me, but I guess he doesn't. So it's definitely worth killing the little dudes. All right, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go! We did it. <laughs> I think that was the first... Was that our first time fighting the Collector? I can't remember. Oh, so many potions that we didn't get. Evoke your next orb X times. <laughs> um, <laughs> that has some funny potential with the one that gives you extra energy. Or like, they could just give you massive amounts of block with calipers. I like that. Um, deal seven damage to a random enemy for each lightning channel this co this combat. Playing Tempest and then playing Thunderstrike is like num, 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 num. rainbow. I do like rainbows. <laughs> yeah, vo evoke multiple times would be great for dark orbs too. I mean, I could see it useful with every orb to be honest. Um, I like it. Giga energy, then Tempest. Yeah, exactly. Multicast on an energy orb, and then Tempest. I also do like Thunderstrike because I tend to channel a lot of these. So like later on, this is a really good cast. It's just it's just trash if I get it in my opening hand is the problem. Um, let's get Multicast though because I think with Plasma it's going to be really nice. Yeah. All right, what relics do we have? Elites drop an additional relic. So. The issue with this is like I've only got so many more elites to go because we're on the final stretch here, but I guess it ends up being like an extra relic. Um, upon pickup, remove two cards from your deck. Honestly, not bad to remove two basic defense. Oh, Runic Dome! <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> Runic Dome seems so wild. <laughs> I have to use the restroom and then we shall return. Okay. Um. Remove two cards from my deck sounds nice. I might just chicken out and do that. <laughs> no, Runic Dome sounds horrible. Uh, I just want to remove two defense from my deck is what I want to do. 
Let's go to act three. Oh, let me do a new prediction. Will I beat act two? Yes, but will I beat act three? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Lots of elites on the right side. Probably don't want to mess with that, but I'll at least retain the option here. A shiny brand new run. Go for the eyes. Um. All right, lots of DPS incoming. Look at that dice in the background. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, opening hand with stack. You love to see it. Um, let's see. Uh, can I mention, uh, if it's minor super, that's totally fine. Humorous trivia about super, about runic dumb. Sure. Let's see. I'll, I'll apply a weak to the one that's going to do the most damage to me. We don't have, oh gosh. It's, we're not looking great here. Oh yeah, I want to kill the slimes at the same time. Apply lock on. Well, we gain four block, but I may as well just not cast it and gain six block from Orcalcum. <laughs> not a good first turn. Oh, I should have. I am stupid. I should have used Unceasing Top. I am stupid. I should have used Unceasing Top. Dang it. No, why did I do that? Me big dumb. Me big dumb. Yeah, I forgot the top. Dang nabbit. Um, lifelink. Ooh, I'm glad I did that because now we have Tempest already. So what do we want to get? We can get the one that, oh. Hmm. How do we want to play this? I could amplify defrag. I don't know if it would kill everything though. Multicast. Can I somehow, I have fusion. How much, if I do multicast fusion, I'm not sure. I have four energy. So it would it would be just not worth it, I think. Right? Or what if I double my wait a sec. If I if I double energy first, I'll have eight. Casting fusion takes me to six. Multicasting it would take me to twelve. And then I could do twelve tempests. But is twelve tempests what I want right now. <laughs> mm. Let's... Oh, the alternative is to gain four focus and do six tempests with four extra focus. Not too sure how much... Let me, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully it's not a terrible plan. Double energy takes me to eight. Fusion takes me to six. Multicast takes me to 12 if I understand plasma right. And then we'll do 12 tempests. Let's do it. Double energy, fusion, multicast. I don't know if it's worth doing this, but hopefully it at least kills one or two of them. If I wanted to die, that's good enough for me. Maybe the other one will die too. Yay. All right. 
it. Um, definitely want to do a self repair here. Um, we need to finish this guy off to the extent that we can. So let's get a chaos going to blow him up a little bit. And then do I use a glacier? Or do I just strike it? I think I just strike it? It won't die either way. Um, it won't die either way. Right? Because that'll just deal eight to it. So what would I rather have? I'm gonna do this because this has the potential to kill it next turn. Since it'll hit it once here and then it'll, I hope they don't regen yet. If they do, I'm sad. Oh shit, they do. <laughs> oh no. No, no. No. Yeah, I hate to see it. Oh, this is good though. We got some good stuff. Uh, okay, two extra focus and then a rainbow will be quite nice, I think. And at the end, we'll have tons of block. Alright. Um, well, let's make sure I actually kill them all together this time. And we can top a little bit. All right, we gain a lot of block, which is nice. No, can't use my glacier. Sadness. At least we don't take any damage. Apply weak to you just in case I don't kill you, but hopefully I do. Do I have any power? Co I keep not being able to use Amplify properly. Um, probably want to reboot, but maybe it's not needed. We'll see. Yeah, I probably want to reboot here. See if I can kill them both. Multicast. I think I just. Oh, I wish I could. Mul I need to multicast this dark, but I just can't get to it. I don't think. The guards blade. I may as well do that. Oh, we're gonna be so close, but I can't quite finish the other one off. Darn it. Yeah. Alas. Well. I don't think it matters much. I should have. Yeah, actually, I don't know. We should be good this turn, hopefully. Wait, is regrows already? No, not yet. I was like, it better not regrow already. Alright. Yay. No potions. Compile driver. Gain three focus, lose one orb slot. Whoa, that's interesting. The orb slots don't matter that much though, because they'll just evoke faster. There's a, that's interesting. Uh, deal 10 damage, draw one card for each unique orb you have. Not super helpful. Not bad. Not super helpful. I think there's a weird way where this ends up working out for me. Like with Tempest, this is savage. Let's do it. Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting in the air. Oh, the colorless cards. Um, I'm not sure since they're not gonna affect my focus. I'm just gonna go with one because I'm not I'm kind of worried It's not gonna be any good, but who knows at the start of your turn. You may play the top card of your draw plot pile It's not bad if you have no attacks in your hand draw two cards Not that useful for us Hmm Oh at the start of your turn you play the top card Oh, I gotta choose one of them. Oh, 
I'm not too sure this is the right deck for this, but it sounds fun. Let's try it. As you slowly make your way up the twisting pathways, you constantly find yourself losing your way as the walls and ground seem to inexplicably shift before your eyes. The constant whispering voices aren't helping either. Finding a structure you are certain you've previously seen, you start to question if you are going insane, or the impossible jogger of this place started to get to you. You need to change something soon. That's what the voices say anyway. Why would they lie? Receive to madness? <laughs> Reduce the cost of a random... Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero. This combat. Um... That's not very useful for me. Oh my gosh. Become cursed. What does innate mean? Oh, you start with it in your hand. Oh god. Everything is bad. I'm just... Oh my god, everything is bad. I'm retracing my steps. I feel drained. Get me out! Get me out! I'm just getting out. Getting out while I still can. Let's go this way to the fire. Mmm, consume. <laughs> uh, may as well double energy. Zoom. All right. Whenever I get hit, we'll get some lightning. We'll strike you. May as well stack so that we can. This is a good use for my top. Channel a plasma. Deal some damage. Channel a frost. I still draw a card. Gain some focus. Up to five focus. <laughs> Multicast. <laughs> Well, it gives me a little extra energy. Nice. Damn, mayhem. All right, that was fun. Yeah, this deck is cool, Roro. I'm burning. Ooh, rainbow. Tempest. <laughs> I think Tempest just ends the battle right now though. So as much as I want to rainbow, it's hard to say no to a hot tempest. Does it actually? Maybe it won't. Rainbow. We <laughs> can still tempest for two. Gain buttloads of block. And it still pew pews quite a bit. For a while, the desktop, the Madness event was too good because lots of winning runs took the Madness event. Turns out it was just survivorship bias. Runs that got to the Madness event were going to win anyway. That's interesting. Go for the eyes. Hmm. Um, pretty much anything wins here. Let's get a self-repair. And then what orb do I have next? And then just dual cast this guy, maybe? Yeah. Just to win. Oh, I should have amplified it. Oopsies, I didn't see it was in my hand until it was too late. Oh well, could have gained some extra life. Ball lightning. Uh, gain five block, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. I mean, that can be really good with, um, does it exhaust? If I use, um, Tempest doesn't exhaust, so we could do that. How about double energy? Double energy does exhaust. Um, multicast does not though. Tempest does exhaust. I'm blind. What the heck? I'm literally blind. Yeah, I like hologram here. Tentacles. Oof, when you start out with double energy and seek in your hand. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna just go for focus things, double energy. Yeah, here.
Amplify def Focus energy, amplify def I think this just kills it. Double energy. Amplify. Defragment. I can do this. Oh, I should have played this sooner just for the extra card for funsies. But then we just Tempest for eight. Hopefully this actually kills it. Oh, actually, maybe it won't. It has 170 HP. Uh-oh. Whoopsies! I probably should have done something else. It didn't kill it at all. Whoops. There's probably some better combo there. Uh... Chaos. I made it angry. Zap. I shall strike you. Can I have one HP? Yes. Um. Well, we just finish it off. I was trying to see if I could somehow gain some extra life, depending on what I do, but we did not. Melter. Maybe we get Melter this time. This could come in handy. Alright, do we upgrade or do we rest? The eternal question. <laughs> Multicast upgrade is so nice. You could upgrade Tempest as well. I kind of want to upgrade. Does this channel two plasma? No, it just makes it cheaper, but that is good. Um, mayhem. <laughs> if I had all these things look nice to upgrade. Yeah, another turn of effect is nice for like go for the eyes for two turns of week. I'm tempted by... Oh, there's a lot of things I want to upgrade. A lot of things I want to upgrade. It's hard to pick. Upgrading self-repair tanks, it makes it do 10 HP, which is certainly nice. Um, I think probably I could have, if I were like min-maxing this run a little harder, I think I could have probably like played defensively and used um, my seek card that lets me get stuff to, to get self-repair. So that, and maybe even using it with um, the one that lets me cast powers twice. I could have probably like stayed at max health if I, min max that a little better um multicast sounds nice to upgrade and so does tempest so does mayhem if you want to actually maybe make more use of mayhem and so does fusion because having this cost two is kind of like that it'd be a lot nicer if it only costed one um it's hard to know what to pick i'm gonna take I also really like improving Static Discharge because Static Discharge saves my ass sometimes. Um, the start of your turn, play the top card. I'm going to take Multicast Upgrade. And here is the question we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> Did we find an elite here? I'm gonna go for it. This might end our run tragically, but let's go for it. Oh, this fucker. Is this the one you just have to survive or no? No, not the one you just have to survive. Um, ooh, mayhem. All right, we can finally test that one out a little bit. Oh. Melter. Doesn't have any block.
May as well play all the spells, because what else can I do? So, gain some block. But we'll get to cast another card, which is nice. Oh, self repair. There we go. All right. I forget what this guy does. Probably just hits me for ass loads. Oh, intangible. Right, right, right. You can hurt him and then you can't hurt him and then you can hurt him and then you can't hurt him. That's what it is. Um, all right. Put a card from my discard pile into my hand. Stack plus might help us here. I can also use something potentially. I could use Glacier twice as well, which has advantages um, I wonder if it's best to use glacier twice to try to tank better or 11 car stack plus is nice too I can't use glacier quite twice because of uh, it costs one boot um so in that case, Glacier, Hologram, and Stack Plus, probably? Stack Plus is 15 block. It's pretty nice. All right. That was something. <laughs> Ouch. All right, now we get to deal damage. Ooh, double energy, multicast plus. Um, can I amplify anything? I don't, unfortunately. Channel one frost. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make good use of that multicast. We kind of got it on the wrong turn here. Hey, Naps. A little bit tricky. We can store, we can store, uh, because we have calipers, we'll only lose 15 block. So maybe this hand is just, uh, next power card. We still, I think I re, Boot potentially here, to be honest. Hard to say though. I'll, I think I'll cast Amplify. Wait, what's in my deck? Do I have any. I could get Defrag, that'd be a nice one. Or do I just, if I multicast this, it'll gain like 30 block and I'll save a bunch of it for next turn. That's like something, but it's hard to justify just doing that. I don't know. I'm going to reboot. I think this is going to end up better overall. We'll see though. A card from your discard pile in your hand. <laughs> oh, we just drew our whole hand. Oh, we can do chaos. Gonna store some well I don't know if that ended up being better or not it was at least something here comes a huge hit though all right let's see what we can do uh oh <laughs> uh oh we can dual cast our dark, but it's still not going to be enough. Well, this is... It's only 6 times 3 this time, actually. That's not horrific. And it'll... Static Discharge would be useful with that. Yeah. Question is, do I play... I play Static Discharge for sure, I think, to ensure it like takes a lot of damage next turn. Um, that's gonna help me actually get a kill somewhere in here. But 
Do I just deal 14 damage to it? And then let this one cook? I think I let this one cook. Or do I just deal 24 with it while I can? I don't know. Oh, it didn't even hurt me that time. That's right. Math. Oh, it... Did we auto-play a card? Is that what happened there? Bullseye sounds good. I can seek, though. What do we have in the deck still? Multicast sounds great. For getting the kill here. And then uh, I think that might be good enough to just get the kill with that. Some free damage with FTO. Bullseye and multicast should hopefully win. Maybe it won't. It'll be close. Good for the eyes. Could do rainbow. But uh, Multicast will deal four. Broke your next orb four times. I should be able to kill it next turn no matter what. If that, oh, I did kill it. Okay, good, good, good. Nice. Horn Cleat. At the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Nice. I like that. Who needs math? That was autoplay mayhem. Playing cards to free it seems you use all your energy but doesn't use any. It autoplayed Tempest for four. It's interesting. Yeah, that would have sucked if it ate all my energy. Claw! <laughs> uh, well, it's too late. It's too late for the claws. Sadly, I think I just skipped this. This isn't... I mean, maybe it gives me a... I could upgrade the... I could upgrade Chaos, but I have other stuff I want to upgrade too. Play a power card, draw a card. I don't think that's good. I either skip or take chaos. I'm not sure which I do. I like upgraded chaos, but regular chaos is kind of like, eh. All right, we have a shop. Let's see what we can get. Panache. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, it's not bad. I would pro I would probably do that frequently, but it's just an additional ten damage. Um, deal six damage to all enemies. Draw a card. I don't like any of these steam barriers. Not bad when we're cycling through cards. What are these guys though? Upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. It'll only upgrade attacks. That's kind of meh potentially. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. Not needed right now. Unplayable status cards can now be played. Whenever you play a status card, exhausted. Oh, I see it. It allows you to get rid of crap in your deck. Um, could be useful for fights where that happens, but otherwise I don't think it's going to be helpful. Let's look at our deck. Attack cards. I think most of my things are skill cards. So the fact that it upgrades attack cards, it could upgrade... Um, no, FTL is already upgraded. It could upgrade Beam Cell, which I wouldn't mind, or Go for the Eyes. Those would actually be good. Um, go for the Eyes or Beam Cell. If it upgraded those, I'd be happy with it. But I feel like I'm going to get that, and it's going to upgrade two of my strikes. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I could also do Card Removal Service. Put the card... Put, put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. Oh, and then when you up... I got the upgrade of this before. You put as many of them. Forethought is... Forethought is an amazing card with unceasing top. To some extent. Because I could forethought my whole hand. And then I would just start drawing it with unceasing top and play it for zero. Towards the end of the deck. But it, I'd have to upgrade forethought for that to work. Um, put a card. At least I think I have to upgrade it. Put any number of... Yeah, I have to upgrade 4th fourth, fourth up plus before I could do that. Hmm. Can't get potions. 
I'm leaning towards getting the whetstone. I'm leaning towards getting the whetstone just because I don't really want any of these cards. Steam barriers. A thing that exists. I'd rather just have more orbs. The run is still going. All right, we're gonna YOLO. I think, how about I card removal service one of these strikes? And then I play Whetstone. Hey, I got Beam Cell, I'll take it. <laughs> the other one was just a strike though. <laughs> All right, I don't really have, I don't think I really want any of these. I could upgrade, but I'm probably gonna need to heal, let's be honest. There's a good chance I could upgrade Forethought by, before I, there's a chance I could get Forethought and upgrade it and it might actually somehow work out. But I'm not too sure how good it really is. Ah, what else am I going to do with my money? Alright, there's a weird chance that this could save my ass, so I'm going to try my weird combo. It might end up biting me though. Go this way, it has two upgrades. Pair. Yay, max HP. Try clicking on a potion. Alright. Um go for the eyes. Let's see. Mayhem is nice, but I'm wondering to what extent we might want to reboot. The start, it's gonna be nice. It's only gonna hit me for seven. So I say we do play Mayhem and Defragment and then reboot. Yeah, and then we reboot. It's only gonna hit me for one because of, or Calcum. Ooh, Melter, that would've helped earlier. <laughs> Self repair would be nice to play um, because it would be nice to use our up our fireplaces for upgrades instead. So I think I'm gonna play uh, Cold Snap. Would rather have an extra frost coming out. Oh, that's right. Um, upon receiving damage, gains three block. Right, recess at three at the start of the turn. Um, gain three focus, lose one orb slot. I do like consume. I do like consume. Is there something that we want to hologram? Not really. Um, I can easily block all of its damage here, but is it worth using Tempest? We'll do some damage. Do I want ass loads of block? Or do I want some DPS coming in? I'm already not going to take any damage, let's just use Tempest. Let's start getting some damage. We actually rolled over some block. All right, here we go. We got Seek coming in. Oh, wow. Double energy was played. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see what's... You know, strike plus. Let's go. <laughs> see what's in our deck still. Uh, we can multicast. That sounds phenomenal right now. That might just win the game. So let's do multicast. Um, and... I think Bullseye is still better to Bullseye once. Yeah, that's the part of the combo I was forgetting. Um, should I do the math or should I just YOLO it? <laughs> well, we can apply a week. 
Um... Surely eight of these with Bullseye will kill it, right? But I don't know how it's going to work with Malleable, so maybe it won't. Uh, well, what else am I going to do? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. The most damage it's going to do to us is, what, like 11 or something? It's fine. It died. It's fine. <laughs> That's the big part of that combo I forgot. Oh, escape from a non-boss combat, but receive no rewards. That's sad. It's sad if you have to smoke bomb. I can't use it anyway. <laughs> Deals damage equal to two times the number of frost channeled this combat to all enemies. There's a chance that upgrading that would be nice. Streamline plus, deal 20 damage. Reduce this card's cost by one this combat. That's not very, like it's okay, but. Carl grabbing potions just to delete them. <laughs> Flying Vulnerable doesn't end up being super useful for this deck. I almost want to get Blizzard and upgrade it. Because it has late game potential. Times I never frost channel this combat. Like in a long fight, this has nice potential. But maybe if I upgrade it. Um, but Beam Cell is really nice. Yeah, it's free. And it does, it, it does get booted. <laughs> it gets a nice boot. My thing is, is that I already know what I want to use my upgrades on, so I don't want to get something else that also needs an upgrade in case I need to heal. Ah! You saw. The Melter. Um, do I have any power card? Oh, we can Amplify Mayhem. That's pretty sick. Yeah, let's Amplify Mayhem. Hell yeah. I'm assuming this plays two cards. We like that. And... That was a Goomba boot. Rargh. I forget what this guy does. Smashy, smashy. Nice double energy again. <laughs> oh, man. Um... Do I have anything worth hologramming? Uh, I can hologram... Like Cold Snap or something, but I don't think we need to do that right now. Oh man, not very good cards. I really need to upgrade this. Two... For two, it's not very good. Zap. Bunch of heckin' strikes. Bunch of heckin' strikes. Remove all block. Nah. Evoke your next orb twice. Ah. Just have a bunch of junkola happening here. All right. Let's hologram. Probably cold snap. Maybe this though, and I can use the stuff on something else. The rationale here is I'm going to draw more cards anyway, so let's cast those instead. Yay! <laughs> the one defend left in my deck. Uh, Alright. Well. Sick. <laughs> no, I wasted a rainbow. I shouldn't have done that. I wasted a rainbow. Right, to cast two to cast two spells, we like that. Nice. Supply is weak. Oh, we're almost at the point where forethought's gonna be good. Using my crazy idea. Do I still have multicast? Oh boy, we might be able to do something cool here. Um. What do I have in my hand? OK. 
Chaos, Glacier. Got seven energy. Unsure if I want to use multicast or not, or try to do something interesting with forethought. It's only it's hardly gonna do any damage to me. Why is it doing so little damage? So this turn it's hardly gonna do any damage to me. Let's just set up and we can cast like everything next turn, I think. Or do I just multicast? I could play I could do lock on multicast though. It's not that much damage though, because that deals eight with lock on that'd be twelve. Well, that'd be a lot of damage. I kind of want to gain a ton of focus, though. So one play here would be to use Forethought and put all of these... Oh, it only works with one right now. Shoot. I don't have the upgrade yet. Once I upgrade Forethought, it could be nice. Oh, can you not cancel something? Am I locked into doing it? Man, I forgot I haven't upgraded it yet. Can you not cancel something at this stage? Uh, shit. <laughs> well. Alright, dang it. Well, we can gain a ton of focus. And then... Eventually that will pay off for us, hopefully. Oh, reboot is like... I mean, I'm gonna play it, but... <laughs> Oh, man. Mm. Maybe just prep this for next time. Multicast plus one, gain 20 gigabillion. Lasai. <laughs> gain 20 gigabillion defense, 10 block. Oh. It'll maybe come in handy next turn. Nah. It's not gonna hurt me this turn. I've already got enough. Let's let that get bigger. This game is very fun. Okay. Hey, Rainbow. She's a card to the bottom. No! <laughs> Oh, this thing is annoying. Oh man, I needed to uh I need to upgrade it. Better use FTL while we can still get something out of it. Uh. Oh, alright, we're dual casting that I guess. Getting a lot of energy. Well, Time to cast 700 things. <laughs> this is a little ridiculous. Imagine having abilities that actually hurt things. Oh man. More focus. So much block. Nice. Hey, there's my zero glacier. <laughs> we'll almost kill it. Oh, what's in my discard pile? Chaos. It's almost dead. I need to get make that a chaos plus. It's almost dead if I can just hit it with anything. How about I just hologram a strike or a melter? There we go. Boom. 
Yay, potions that I can't have. Ball lightning. <laughs> um, extra weak and zero casts are nice, but sure, I'll take the upgrader one. All right, I need to upgrade my cards. I'm gonna upgrade Forethought. Maybe it'll combo off, maybe it'll do nothing. I don't know, but it has potential. Let's go. Ball Lightning was a Magic the Gathering card that I remember. It's a fun one. Oh, double energy seek. You love to see it. Oh, I can channel a plasma, but it won't go into my. It'll go into this slot, right? It would almost be better if I didn't have this lightning there. Um, these guys are hardly going to do any damage, so let's just try to blow them up as much as we can. Multicast Plus is better than Tempest in this regard, I think. Do I want to do... Gain 3 Focus, though? Or probably just Defrag. Defrag Multicast. Got enough energy there, pal? Nah. <laughs> Defrag multicast. This is fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had fun. Alright. <laughs> Uh, hey, self repair. I'll draw my card, thank you very much. Self repair to try to get to full health. I mean, <laughs> relining's not so bad. Just gonna deal. Nah, it's not gonna deal any damage to me. Especially with weak. Oh, I'm literally generating block for it. Whoopsies. All right, let's get these cooking. Whatever. Yeah, whoopsies. All right, uh, hopefully we can finish it off this time. Hey, Melter is pretty nice on this guy. Next power card is played twice. I don't have any. Um, will this just kill it? Move all block, deal 14. I think if I do this first, it'll just die, but yeah, okay. Because it doesn't generate block with those. So many potions I can't use. Charge battery. More reboot. Reboot is nice. Mm, two weak is really nice. 10 block and then extra energy is really nice. I like, I like both. I like all three of these. Let's make sure on melter. The eyes, but I don't know which one to pick here because I like all of them. Oh, next, yeah, next turn, gain it energy. Uh, I'll take charge battery, but I liked everything there. Great, find some potions. Great. Ah! Shit game. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. What do we upgrade here? We could upgrade Rainbow. Could upgrade Mayhem, so it only costs one. Could upgrade chaos because it's much better than static discharge upgrade could save us depending on like I don't know how many attacks the boss will have but for anything that has a multi attack this could literally save us I don't know what this boss will be it seems like there's multiple it seems like you can get different bosses which is cool um
I'm gonna... This will be good no matter what. So would this. This would also be good no matter what. Uh, I'm gonna do this one because it could seriously bail us out if the boss has a multi-attack. All right, let's do it. Second time ever. Oh, third time ever reaching the final boss. We've lost once and we've beaten it another time. Yeah, this is a different boss. I've never fought this one before. Whoa. Oh, we do have Amplified Defrag to start there. We like that. Hey, it does have a multi-attack. Too bad I didn't get the thing. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna Amplify Defrag. What is this? I should read stuff. Whenever you play 12 cards, ends your turn and gains two strength. <laughs> Fuck me. So that's like designed to screw combo decks. I love that. Um, it's going to end up screwing me a little bit. But we like Static Discharge. We like Static Discharge. It's a nice card. It's like gonna time warp on its first turn, but I think it's worth it. Like playing cards is good, right? I only have one energy here. Um, what's something I can do with one energy that's useful here? Double energy to two, and then cast may. Honestly, double energy mayhem not a bad play. Not a bad. Play. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, it's because that's gonna help me. Well, wait. What else is gonna help me like throughout the whole game? What's something that I want to get cooking now? Mayhem would be good. Is there anything that would be better to get cooking now? Extra focus is like always good. I could... Um <laughs> Double energy consume! <laughs> uh, Double energy consume. <laughs> it does waste double energy though, is the problem. I could just get, I could just get some small things. I don't know, there's part of me that wants to play double energy consume just because that's a lot of focus to get early and there's part of me that wants to play double energy mayhem. <sighs> just to get it going. This might be a mistake because it's wasting double energy, but I don't know. All right. I don't think I want to play reboot. I think I just, it's hard to say no though, but it's gonna literally, well, I want to attend my turn, actually. Whenever you play 12 cards, end your turn. Time Warp doesn't go away, right? I may as well just give it the two strength now and let it be done. Like, if it, it's, it's going to end my turn. I want it to end my turn now. There we go. And then it resets. Whenever you receive damage, channel two lightning you like that. Okay, now it's gonna do a fat attack though. Um. Oh my gosh! Let's like, use one orb slot. We just go down to one orb slot, but we have so much focus. <laughs> oh my god! I could just, um, I could just cast Tempest for big damage, but feels like we should charge battery and be smart here. Cause it's gonna hit me for 28, so let's charge battery. Now we're not gonna take much damage. Mm. I think we play Mayhem. It's so tempting to play Consume. <laughs> you have no idea how tempting it is to play Consume. <laughs> oh, fuck. Consume! Tempest! <laughs> Oh my 
caro. <laughs> Look, every time it hits me, it gets draw reduction. Oh, I don't think I draw one less card. I don't think I saw that. <laughs> this is such a mistake. Oh my god. Uh, this is my orb. It was made for me. <laughs> oh shit. Let's cold snap so that we can get some block coming in hot. Um, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. <laughs> For fun! <laughs> Gain 14 block! Alright, I'm just gonna have it end my turn. And I think that's the way to go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your bullshit. What an interesting boss. Oh, I almost wish it would have hit me more. Yay, self repair. Bullseye has good potential, though. Maybe we can hologram something good in Bullseye? Uh, what can we get with. Well, let's do that. Let's channel on lightning. Boom. Deals lots of damage. What can we get with this? Multicast? Oh my god. It's a shame that I don't have... Ball lightning isn't bad. Or just two. This is probably more damage. But then that evokes it. I don't want it to stay there. Uh, how much is it gonna hit me for? Nah, it's just gonna do that. Uh, yeah. This a smarter way to do this would be to like get mayhem cooking a bunch, I think. But it's too late for that. It's too late to be smart. We gotta live with our choices. We gotta live with our choices. We're doing a lot of damage to it. Chaos plus. Dual cast! Chaos Plus! Uh, letting this one cook might not be the worst idea. It's down to 80. It's got 6 left. Maybe I just let this one cook and pass. Deal 6 damage. Increase the orb's damage by 16 per turn. Hmm. Let's just let that one cook, I think. What? It just healed for 140! Fuck you! What the fuck was that? Can I hologram? No, I got nothing in my... Oh man. Oh man, that was shit. Well, I can at least weaken it. So it doesn't hurt me too much. In some sense, it's good to take the hits so that I static discharge it a bunch. I mean, I think we just have to cast rainbow and shit now and see what happens. I can get a bunch of block too. Let's rainbow. Yeah, it still does a lot of damage. Gives me a lot of block. Alright. It's something to be said for hologramming uh, weak just so it's weak next turn too, because I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. Like, it might do some crazy shit next turn, but I think we just glacier and stack. Stack hella. Block. Store 10 block. Yeah, it doesn't do very much damage, so I think we win this because it just doesn't hurt me very much. <laughs> Consume our last orb slot. Oh man. Um, let's channel some random orbs and see if we can get some damage in there. Oh, I got energy. May as well do it. Oh, it's about to end my turn though. Hold on, it's gonna end my turn. Um. Yeah, it's gonna end my turn, so maybe we just cook this turn. 
Yeah, maybe we like stack this turn. I think we stack and wait. No point in dual casting and then it's gonna end my turn anyway. Alright, we stack. Oh. Imagine being able to damage me, nerd. Um. Okay, I really need to get another lightning orb somewhere in this. Let's see what we draw. Oh, good strike. <laughs> that just does nothing. Or at least hurting it a little with that. Well. Melter. Might be good next turn, but I just need to keep damaging it. Alright, channel a random orb. Good old forethought. Totally comboing off, just like I knew it would. Ah! <laughs> What? I don't know why that cast for three. That was weird. Gain 23 block. We take those. <laughs> Alright, bye. Would have been nice to cast Mayhem, but I'll take a bunch of block. Alright, come on. We need some more lightning. Lock on is good, too. It's going to hit me for 51. That's pretty sexy. Oh, lock on is good. It's not going to take my turn. Oh, I got... Infinite block, mm, bitch. Um, I don't think self repair is the play, y'all. Sixty-four block, easy. All right, finally some more lightning cards. Jeez. Okay, apply weak. That's good. Definitely get some lightning in here. Finally. All right, uh, probably grab ball lightning again. Let's use hologram. Yeah, let's get ball lightning again. Try to go for the kill here. We've nearly got it. Multicast is GG, right? Let's go. Defeat the time eater. Boot value. <laughs> You're actually so invincible. That was cool. Defect is a really cool character. Yep. So, so our first time playing this game, which was yesterday, we lost as the um, starting character, the Iron Chad. And then we won on the Poison character, and then we won on the Defect. I want to go back for the Salty run back on the other character. Iron Chad. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the Spire? Ay, 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 ay. What's the point of this? Have I been here before? You have dealt a total of 1,489 damage to the heart. Time for sleep. <laughs> Beat the game with the defect. Yay, what do we unlock? It always has four unlocks remaining. Why are there still unlocks remaining? Even though I unlocked. Oh, we get new cards, right. Um, maybe that's with that character. Gain 13 block, retain your hand this turn. The first card you play each turn is played twice. Oof, the first card you play each turn is played twice. Oh my god, Echo Form with, um, <laughs> with either Dual Cast or Tempest or the one that gives you tons of energy. Oh my god. Oh, that was a fun deck. I like that. I like how different all the characters have played. Definitely like that one a lot. So there's a fourth character then. What's up with this thing? Yeah, we need to... F See, the game is like you need to do the first character. So what should we do next? We have the Watcher, the blind ascetic who has come to evaluate the Spire, master of the divine stances. Start of each combat, add a miracle to your hand. Hmm. Or should we... Should we salty run back the first one? Watcher is best. Watcher's added much later. Yeah, I think we need the salty run back on the first one. 
finish with the iron chad all right uh chat we i'll pick our if there's any particular deck that you think would be fun to try this time uh i'm okay with people letting me know because i've already played this character before we beat act three yes the iron child let's go revenge oh this is different obtain a random whoa take 24 damage remove two cards lose your starting relic our starting relic is heal six Wow, I'm probably gonna do a random rare card and then we'll build our deck around it. That sounds really fun. That sounds really fun. Obtain a random rare card. Let's do this. Juggernaut, whenever you block, deal five damage. All right, well, <laughs> I guess we're blocking this game. Um, let's definitely try to fight as many elites as possible. They can fight three elites on the right side. Let's do that. Is it always Juggernaut, really? It's gonna do 11 damage. Jawworm. Smash. Bash. Apply some vulnerable, that sounds good. Oh, maybe I should've used Juggernaut. Oh, well. Not oh, enough energy. What's a good prediction for this guy? Um, bend, strike, strike. Do we beat Act 1? There's no way I lose with this guy, right? Right? Will I beat Act 1? Surely there's no way I lose. Um, whenever you block, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. Well, I think I just try to finish it. Can I finish it, actually? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I like this card. No, I can't finish it, because it has... Uh, 20 HP and I can only do 18. Uh, about that juggernaut though. Yeah, do we go under half HP? Hold on. I'm gonna delete that one. Will we go below half HP in Act 1? All right, let's do something different this time. Deal damage equal to your block. I mean, if we get, this sounds fun. Block smash. Let's try this. Maybe we can get a lot of block. Let's go to a random event. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Upgrade two random cards. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, we upgraded our shitty starter cards. That'd be funny if that brought me below half health immediately. Oh, if I go below half health on this fight, I'm gonna lose it. Um, well, deal damage equal to my block. Wait, gain more block. Deal damage equal to my block. Boom. Not nice. Yeah, Anvil. I just learned that, though. Um, have you block deal five damage? I mean, I can just kill it. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, I didn't read its ability. It's fine. Yay, Laos. <laughs> yeah, I could use potions again. Oh my goodness. Okay, last time we tried upgrading Searing Blow. We also tried cra Clash. Shrug it off, gain eight block, draw a card. I guess we're going for block right now. But what do you guys want to do? We did Searing Blow last time and, and I did end up losing. Um, let's take block. Yeah, you can suggest use fast. Oh, whoa. <laughs> do at the end of your turn, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Regret. But if I just take this and then I discard it at a merchant up here, surely everything will be fine, right? And this will be the better play in the end. 
<laughs> There's HP equal number of cards in your head. <laughs> That's a net gain of 100 gold. Easy. Just three battles, what could happen? Uh, just through an elite? <laughs> Alright. I will try, I will try to not influence the Scamba and not fall below half health. Without, at least of my own volition, alright? Um, probably gonna bash because it's not doing anything and then strike plus. Incantation. Yeah, I gotta kill this one fast or else it'll do lots of damage. Um... Well, strike, strike. And we can block. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you can, this could go anyway. Body slam, yeah, deal damage, you go to my block. But we can just kill it. <laughs> we can just kill it. Yay. Entrench, double your block! <laughs> Oh man, can only be played if every other card. Oh yeah, that's Clash. I mean, this is cool, but I need more energy. But late game, I predict this will pay off. All right, we're playing the long game here. Playing the long game. Um, so damage you go to your block whenever you block. Oh, okay, we can get this cooking now. I think. And hopefully it'll pay off for us later. Ah, uh, sorry, huge. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get rid of them for free with that, with a uh, Prime sub. Or if you don't, then you can just download an ad blocker. Um, well, we're taking some damage here. <laughs> May as well bash to get vulnerable for next turn. Oh, why does it gain strength? Whenever you play a skill, it gains two strength. Oh yeah, this thing is kind of shit. Oh, we might go to half health here, chat. <laughs> uh, well, we do have Shrug it off coming in hot and we can double our block. But we need to kill it. So question mark, question mark, smiley face. Let's see what we draw from Shrug it off. Oh god, using block against this guy kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I think we need to deal damage to it. This is kind of bad. This thing is scary. Deal damage equal to your block. Well, this is shit. <laughs> it's only gonna do 12 this time until I increase its stuff again. What do we have to do to get to half health? We have to get to 40. To, um, chat, this might be it. I'm sorry. To damage equal to your block. It's just not good enough for just this. Oh, I kind of want to bash it. I need to kill it. I need to kill it. Yeah, I need to kill it. Skull bash. <laughs> Can I kill it this turn? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, my only potion applies vulnerable, which it already has. Wait, can I kill it? No, it's just not enough to kill it. Yeah. Well, I was over fast. Wait, it died? What killed it? I didn't, I missed something. What killed it? Juggernaut! <laughs> Whenever you play block, deal five. Oh, Juggernaut doesn't do what I thought it did. I'm stupid chat. I thought it was whenever I block, not whenever I play a block card. That's way better. Yo, the run lives. Um, Champion belt. Whenever you play vulnerable, apply weak. That's sick. That's sick. We're cooking. Um, 
Okay, five block, deal five damage. Let me read exactly what Juggernaut does. Whenever you gain block, oh my god. All right, well in that case. Uh, exhaust your hand, deal seven damage for each card exhausted. This is good if you get other stuff that deals with exhaust, but right now we're pretty much enjoying, I think both Iron Wave and Shrug It Off are good here. Yeah. Um, I predict Shrug It Off will be very good once we upgrade it and or get more energy. So let's try that. Um, let's, let's try looking at our upgrades here. Maybe we can like upgrade Juggernaut. <laughs> okay. Upgrading Juggernaut is an option. Entrench, double our block for only one. I feel like that's pretty good. Let's see what Shrug It Off does. It's just, it just increases the amount of block. What does Bash do? Applies three vulnerable. All good upgrades. Oh, body slam, deal damage equal to your block, zero. Oh my gosh. That's real good. All right. Um, that's real good. I'm bleeding, but I'm going between body slam and simply reducing the cost of entrench. Both seem very good. Both seem very good. Let's do Entrench, but I'm going to probably do Body Slam next. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, cost reduction is so good. Alright, so Spore Cloud means I want to finish them off together if possible. Um, it's only going to do 6 damage to me, so... I guess I'll see what I draw. Okay, well... <laughs> Maybe... I still think of playing vulnerables to play here. Because I don't need to defend anymore. It's growing! Alright, shrug it off is nice. And that'll do one damage to us, which is probably fine. Probably better to just deal some more damage to these guys. Was there always a counter? No, the counter showing the cards is in settings. All right. I wish I had already gotten Juggernaut. I wish I'd already gotten Juggernaut. Um, not sure how I want to play this. I could use two defends and then strike, or I could use Juggernaut in hopes that it'll help me more next turn. It probably will help me more next turn, but then we're gonna take four this turn. Oh, that's okay, let's just get Juggernaut rolling. We need to start finishing them off though, but we should be able to now. Yeah, let's use that. Hopefully it kills that one. It did. Um, bashing it would be nice, but not taking damage would also be nice. <laughs> All right, shouldn't hurt us. And we'll finish it this turn. Hiya! <laughs> um, anger. <laughs> War cry. Put a card from your hand. Right. Um, War cry is like doesn't hurt the deck, and it could help us. It could help us find something that we wanted, but I don't really know what I want here. We're already applying weak anytime we apply vulnerable because of the champion belt. Weak does come in handy sometimes though. Anger I don't really like. 
We did anger last time. Frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Wow, all power cards are automatically upgraded. Okay, Let's see if we can find some cool powers then. Holy slimes. Yay, we started with Juggernaut this time. We do like to see that. Let's get Juggernaut cooking. I definitely want to reduce the cost. Oh, I can't reduce the cost of the time. We don't have any good zero casts, right? Yeah. All right. No point in playing Warcry, I don't think. Well, actually, there is a point in playing Warcry, because if I really want this, I just put it on top and make sure I get it next turn. Ah, slimes. Ow. Oh, one HP away. <laughs> one HP away from half health. This might be bad. Shrug it off. Double your block. Didn't, like, actually kill any of them. Well. Don't grab Clash. Yeah, I did Clash already. Not good with a lot of block cards. The first time I played... Okay, shrug it off. Um, more block. Deal nine damage. Doesn't really matter. We're holding on by a thread. Weak anymore now. Drag it off. Defend plus. Double your block. <laughs> Come at me, dudes. <laughs> Thirty-two block. Oh man. Drag it off. Defend plus. Strike plus. We held on by a thread. <laughs> got a regen potion. I should probably use that. <laughs> uh, at the end of your turn, gain four block! Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, um, add a random attack card to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Ah, oh, we get this. Alright, well, I got bad news for you, chat. I'm fighting an elite. <laughs> Uh, or we could go this way and heal up. We could go this way and heal up, or we fight two elites. <laughs> Maybe we go- alright, alright. For the sake of the run, I think we go to the left. Uh, I'll use the regen potion, it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the worst we have. We don't draw any of our good shit. Turn one. All right, I'm gonna use the regen potion. Um, great, great, great. <laughs> good start. Oh my God. Nice hand. All right, we get a bunch of dazed. <laughs> Once we delete all these strikes, deck's gonna bob off. Yeah, right? Uh, let's use Warcry and see if we can get Juggernaut. Nope. Um, wait, what do I want to put on the top? We'll put something... I'll use... Well, I'm gonna draw it anyway but shrug it off, so... I feel like it doesn't matter what I pick because I'm just gonna draw it. We seriously need, though, to get Juggernaut going. Um, take three damage, or do I just block it all? I gotta, I gotta kill these things eventually. So let's pick the chip away at that one. Oh boy! Not enjoying how many days cards I have in here. All right, we probably just can just Juggernaut and Metallicize. 
but the run is almost dead. <laughs> we could just jugger. Oh, I gotta do. Oh. This is gonna really help us after this turn. All right, we're hanging on by a thread. The days are not good though. Not enjoying. I have like 20 days in my deck. This is not good. Oh boy. Double your block. <laughs> well, it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> oh man. All right, well. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Prediction. When we go below half health, yes. Uh, I don't think I want to draw any more cards. Well, actually, I'll probably draw a daze. Uh, I'm going to say I don't. Uh, it just depends on what I draw. If I draw a daze, it's worth it. And I didn't draw a daze. Dang, nabbit. Uh, let's finish this nerd off. Will I beat Act 1? This is a good question now. Will I even beat Act 1? Days for days. You'd love to see it. <sighs> um. Well, we got that one down at least. Well, we're not looking good. Days for days. Days for days. All right, we're at least getting out of here with our lives. Barely, but we have another elite to fight. <laughs> this isn't good. Oh man, this isn't good. Toxic egg! Whenever you add a skill to your deck, upgrade it. Wow, we have like all the upgrades. Nice. Um, I don't think any of this helps us a lot right now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> exhaust one card. Is this a card in your... Does this exhaust a card in your hand? Drawing extra cards for energy isn't super useful right now. I mean, maybe, but... Oh, this is going to be... This has good potential. From hand? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure this is very useful. For, I'm not sure any of this is very useful for us. Oh, there's a chance that something like this saves our ass. But I could also draw into Juggernaut turn one with this, potentially. Later on, this could be good. Later on, this could be good. Oh, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. Uh, double our block, dude. You love to see it. Um, let's see what we work, right? All right. We can... Oh, I should have just kept the defend and then body slammed him. Oopsies. Well, Spike Plus is actually just as good, I think. Yeah. Though taking damage is not so good. <laughs> but I also need to kill this guy, so... Oh yeah, we'll be fine with the size. Yeah, we gotta kill this dude before we get mugged too much. I'm getting stolen from. I think maybe we just bash and strike him. Even though Juggernaut, yeah. 
Juggernaut will hit again with... But Vulnerable is going to be helpful for getting this kill here, so... Let's just go for the kill. Alright. Die. Die. Yay, we got our goal back. And we got a smoke bomb. Re escape from non-boss combat. We might be needing this in a second. <laughs> oh, man. I mean... All right, game. We might need it right here. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. At the end of its turn, gain a block is asleep. It's a real shame I didn't start with. <sighs> Anything. I could apply Vulnerable to it with the Fear Potion. Maybe that's the way to go. I think we use our Fear Potion here. And we just send it. Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Let's use Warcry. What do I want to put back? Double your block. Hmm. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Actually, wait, if I bash it, it'll weaken it. If I bash it, it'll weaken it. Uh... Yeah. No, because I have champion belt, whenever you play vulnerable, play weak. So if I bash it, it'll weaken it. So that takes, I mean, that's still bad. <laughs> that's still bad. Oh, do we use an attack potion or do we just fucking smoke bomb out of here? I'm going to use an attack potion and hope that we can keep actually doing this. Gain an energy, draw a card or gain some block might be useful here too. Wait, doesn't it? Does this go into my hand with zero energy cost? Or am I still gonna have to pay the cost? Hmm. Yeah, it goes in with zero. So this is a net energy gain. That's why I wanted to take that one. All right. Now we're maybe cooking-ish. Kind of a little bit. We're gonna gain four block. So question is, do we deal some extra damage or do we just not take any? Let's just not take any this turn. Oh no, I don't have Metallicize. Oh, good thing I did that. I didn't, I didn't have Metallicize. All right, there's Metallicize. So we can get that cooking. Jesus, hitting me for 18, what a beast. Ugh. I need to get... I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to draw with Shrug It Off. I'm gonna play it, but I hope I don't draw Juggernaut. God, fuck! Oh, uh, that was so bad. I should have just seen, I should have just looked at my kick. I could have easily predicted that if I noticed how few cards were left in my deck, but I just didn't look. Oh, uh, I mean, it was still 33% worse luck, but yeah. Oh. Well, the game just forgave us, so thank you, game. Thank you, game. Um, well, um, it's not gonna hit me, so I may as well just do this. Tragic. But there's some hope this turn. Oh yeah, like debuffs all the things. All right. 
Oh, it like keeps this card. What the heck? It does still have vulnerable. Yeah. Let's draw the card first. But we're probably gonna probably gonna play Entrench. No, yeah, nice. Then we play Defend. And then we play Entrench. Okay, at least our deck is finally doing things. Alright, we definitely bash it to reply weak again. Though doing a bunch spamming a bunch of shrug it offs would be nice too though. Maybe it's better to spam well, let's do a shrug it off first. Maybe it's better to just play more shrug it off. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's better. And then defend. It's better this way, because now it won't hurt me. Yeah, this is better. Oh, shrug it off is so good. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Woo! <laughs> we survived. The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. All right, that's cool. Play the top three cards. We like that. That's going to save our asses. Berserk! So we only are vulnerable for one turn, but then from there after we have an additional energy all the time. I do like that. At the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal seven damage to all enemies. That's kind of silly. Um, I think Berserk is the way to go because it's just one turn of vulnerable. And then from there on, we're going to have extra energy. So I like that. We survived. <laughs> oh, we need that. Combust. Mm. Well, I want to play Metallicize, but I also need to kill this guy fast, so what do? Um, if I bash him, I think I need to bash him to get the kill fast enough, to be honest. It's going to weaken him, so... And then we can do a lot of damage to him next turn. I'm frail. All right, Berserk. <laughs> At the start of your turn. It's sad that Berserk doesn't help me on the first turn. Oh, yeah, I gained three extra cards. I like that. I could, like, Burning Pact here to try to get... Um, let me War Cry. Trench, double your block. We don't have Juggernaut. It's just a question of if I want to try to get Juggernaut or not, because we're, we're, there's a ch good chance we'll get it. I think I'm going to Berserk, which is going to be a little bit sus, but... Let's see what we draw. Oh, good. <laughs> uh... I need to kill this guy. So, gotta just start dealing some damage. But now we're gonna have extra energy, which should be really nice. Dude, the last card in my deck is Juggernaut. <laughs> you love to see it. Um, well, we can draw it with this, but I do. I would like to body slam too. I don't know. Let's play Juggernaut, I guess. And then uh, gain six more block. Hopefully we can kill him next turn if he's gonna run or something. Slimed, damn, slimed. Slimed. Um, bash. Defend. Uh, better to just kill it if we can. Yeah, better to just kill it. All right. Cool. Wallet protected. Yep. 
Um. Gain damage equal to your block. Uh, 14 damage. Cool. All right, this I feel like we have potential here, but sever soul, exhaust all, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, but deal 16 damage. Ooh, gain five block and upgrade all cards in your hand. Hell yeah. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain five block. Shit. <laughs> I like that too. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain five block. That's pretty nice. I see one great pick and two bait cards. Uh, I don't know how good the upgrade is, to be honest. Well, it'll upgrade all my blocks and shit, though. Like, there's a lot of good things to be upgraded. Skip is still an option. <laughs> I really like Rage and Armament. I don't know which one I would pick, though. Whenever you play an attack this turn... I'm not going to play that many attacks, but it is nice to have the option to gain block from them. I'm going to play... I'm going to get Armament. All right. And we're going to fucking heal here. As much as I would like to upgrade, we need to heal. Desperately. <laughs> we still might die. All right, Um, right. Let's go. What all do we have? First time you lose HP, draw three cards. That's really nice. All skills and powers are automatically upgraded. That's really nice. And then whenever we apply vulnerable, also apply weak. I like those. All right, this thing. Yay, we started with Juggernaut. That's, I think, huge. Starting with it. It's so nice. Um, can I play this and then play an upgraded Juggernaut? Yeah. I could play Armaments and then play upgraded Juggernaut. Yes, please. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I love this guy. All right, let's war cry. Well, sick hand. Uh, I forgot how much damage this guy deals. <laughs> we might uh, need to play Distilled Chaos here so that we don't take too much damage because I'm only going to have 10 block otherwise. All right, I think we YOLO Distilled Chaos here and hope that we get... Oh, we got to defend. I'll take it. And we got berserked. Uh-oh. <laughs> but um, at least we get to... Nice, nice berserk. At least we get to double our block. But I mean, also, fuck me. We do get the body slam for 26, but also kind of get fucked. Well, uh, ouch incoming. But look, we get to draw a bunch of cards, and now we get to play Shrugger. Now it does six damage. Let's play Metallicize. <laughs> Imagine drawing three Shrugger offs. Um, probably better to do Bash here, because the Vulnerable is going to pay off next turn, I think. Cause it's not gonna hurt us already. So let's do vulnerable for next turn just to get more damage in. Yeah, you guys can talk about what you would like to do or anything like that, that's fine. But if you're like judgmental or annoying about it, then you're gonna get banned, so don't do it. Um, sick. Smashy, smashy. I have 400 gold, by the way. Holy moly. Um, Burning Pact, I'm not using at all. I wonder if one day I'll actually want to use it, but I don't like it right now. Oh, maybe I'll use it right now, because we can exhaust our burn. JK. Well, it didn't end up being that helpful. Maybe... Actually, maybe we... It's only going to do six. Hmm. It was almost useful. Oh, it does seven for each of those, but this is nine. So it is better to strike it once I'm not gonna take damage anymore, sadly. Unless I can make use of this. 
because that does seven. I don't know. That wasn't really any better. It probably was worse than just using the strikes. What is? You can affect what his multi-attack will be? I don't know what you mean by that. You can also make cards with numbers on your keyboard. Oh, cool. Um... Upgrading Bash sounds fun. Because having more vulnerable is going to really help me get the kill here. And... Uh, uh, may as well just... Do extra damage. Dun to done. Let's drag it off. <laughs> this is pretty fun once we get once we get rolling. <laughs> we have 27 block, but it's still more damage to do this. Armin is one of those cards you usually learn as a trap. It has its shines, like if you have a bunch of upgraded cost reducers, but otherwise the fact it's one energy for five block makes it suffer. Yeah, that makes sense, Flutter. Um, it's only gonna hit us for eight. And this will apply weak to it. So, that's nice. Yay, we didn't die. <laughs> I did beat act one. Will I fall below half health in Act 2? We have 500 gold. Holy shit. Another Juggernaut. I'm kind of tempted by that. This turn, your next two attacks are played twice. Double tap. I'm going to get another fucking upgraded Juggernaut. <laughs> I'm assuming they stack. Um... Yeah, they do stack to my understanding. Oh yeah, we get it. We get this too. Remove two cards could be huge. Whenever you lose HP, draw a card. Anytime you get hit, draw a card. It could be useful. Tiny house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Obtain one potion, which is useful. 50 gold, okay. Raise your max speed by five is like, okay, not great. Obtain one card and upgrade one card. That is intriguing to me. I'm kind of interested in the tiny house or just getting rid of two slashes with empty cage. Um, I did get the other juggernaut. That's what I got. Two juggernauts, right? Juggernaut. Um, do I remove two cards or do I do this? Upgrade one random card. The problem with that is the random upgrade. Yeah, removing two strikes, I think, would be the play with that. It has good potential. Potions sometimes save my ass. It just depends on what the card I get is, too. The rest of those are kind of small upgrades. Remove Bash. I like Bash because of my champion belt, even though the fact that it costs two is annoying. If I can make it cost one, I'd like it more. Um, if you lose HP, draw one card. That could really save me. I think all these look nice to me. Um, I mean, it totally depends on what it means by obtain one card. Like, can it be rare? Is it gonna be rare? Is it just gonna be a random card? Do I get to choose from a three? Or is it just one random card? It's a choice of three like every other. I'm gonna do this with the assumption that, hey, we upgraded Shrugged off. <laughs> Uh, Elixir is not going to help us, though. Yeah, since it lets me pick, I'm pretty happy with that. Though, in the end, I don't really want any of these, sadly. 
Strength effect this card three times. Yeah, just not useful for us, unfortunately. I think we skip a rune ski on this. Uppercut! Apply one weak. <laughs> I don't know. It will have. Um, whenever you apply vulnerable, apply on weak. It will apply two turns of weak with the uppercut because of the champion's belt. But. It's kind of not great. I don't know. Sunk cost fallacy. Feels too expensive for me. I don't know. I'm trying to stick with the stick with the theme of the deck here. Uh, let's go left path. Ah, berserk. <laughs> Do I want to play berserk? Probably. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right, juggernaut time. Shrug it off for 11. Let's go. Um, I mean, technically this deals one additional damage. <laughs> It'd be cool to get that thing that allows us to store block. I almost feel like I need more energy or I need more zero casts because... I'm... I have too many cards a lot of the time and I can't play them. Maybe a couple zero casts would be good. Isn't there a zero cast that gives you defense? Maybe that was just the other character. Um, just damage you go to your block. All right. Well, we're taking some damage here. Shelled Parasite. Oh, am I not paying attention to its thing? At the end of its turn, gains block. Oh yeah, okay. I gotta make sure I actually pay attention to that. Oh, it's each time you hit it. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't mind at this point, I guy. I guy. Trench. Um, well, upgraded defense is nice, but it's not going to hurt me that much this turn in the first place. So I think we have enough to just play another Juggernaut. Yeah, and this ends up not being useful, really. I guess it's better to play this and then a defense. Not one of these. All right. Juggernaut's certainly doing a lot, though. Ironclad doesn't have the zero cost block, but others do. Makes sense. All right, not bad. Attack potion. Enemy loses three strength. I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Maybe it'll help me in the long run though. Um. Which arm? Disarm. Disarm fits the deck better. I can see it being useful for things that have multi hits. Very useful for things that have multi hits. I really like the music. Yeah, the strength loss is permanent. I learned that. Um, do I want a berserk? Probably. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's shrug. Let's shrug. Probably. 
Yeah, that's shrug. I'm gonna draw Juggernaut. Ooh, disarm. Um, let's just hit one of them for minus strength. Sure. Oh, one damage five times. Interesting. Zero damage. Nerd. All right, we need to get a Juggernaut going though. The problem. I feel like the problem with this deck. Because I'm not really doing anything unless I have Juggernaut. <laughs> but I have two Juggernauts, so we have that going for us, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, like... We didn't get a whole lot accomplished because this turn we don't have... Don't have Juggernaut. Plus one strength. I still didn't get, are you fucking kidding me? All right, Juggernaut has to be like on the top of my deck right now. There it is. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um, well, let's start Juggernaut plus. Definitely gotta just drop that and then start shrugging, baby. Um. Yeah, it ends up not helping me to have this one, but that's okay. All right. Oh shit, Body Slam plus. Oh, Body Slam plus reduced the cost to zero. I gotta remember that. Holy shit, that's super helpful. Uh, let's get rid of this one first. I gotta remember that. All right, double juggernaut. Um, but I could also just negate more damage though. I've got five, this would be 11. Oh, we'll be okay. Yeah. If I just had a little more energy, this would also be really nice. I love how everybody's like, the animations are so slow. Like, I don't notice anything, of course, just because I haven't played the game before, but. Um. Nice. All right. Body slam plus. <laughs> um, zero costs are probably good for my deck curve. But I do worry about this card a little bit. That's okay though. I also don't want to enable the setting yourself. Right? Um, I could Burning Pact here to try to get a Juggernaut drop. Or I could just shrug it off so I don't take damage. I'll Burning Pact, just to see if we get Juggernaut. Um, Berserk, Shrug it off, Metallicize, let's go. Nice, I'm glad I didn't draw Juggernaut either. Perfectly blocked, and now we got extra energy, so that's good. I'm liking Berserk in this deck, for sure. Double Juggernaut! <laughs> I think we maybe just play one of them. <laughs> yeah. I think we just play one of them. Chug it off. I'll probably disarm on this nerd. Probably disarm on this nerd. Or is it better to just game or block? I don't know. Strength down. Doesn't help that much. Maybe it would have been better to just play more block. These nerds and plenty of runs. Uh, this should be a nice turn though. We got a bunch of body slam coming in hot. Oh, armament. It's gonna make both of our body slams free and our defense is better. Oh, 
Nice. <laughs> These body slams do 30. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is it better to finish this one off or just do a fuckload to this guy? Don't know if it matters really. Thing, then the metallicize might kill one of them. Yeah. I mean, body slam's pretty good with this deck. <laughs> That's cool set of combos right there. We like that. Shrugging. Upgraded body slam is nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> Battle trance. Draw four cards, but you can't draw additional cards this turn. That's totally fine for this deck. Gain nine block. That's just a better shield. But exhaust one card doesn't sound good. Cause yeah, that's in my hand. It would be okay though, cause I have all those shit cards all the time. Um. Reckless Charge. I'm kind of tempted towards Battle Trance because Battle Trance may help me find Juggernaut when I need it faster. Um, might also screw me. I'll take Battle Trance. It might help me uh, just get the other stuff I need. I have 500 gold. I'm going to a freaking shop. Going to a freaking shop, dude. I have 500 gold. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. I don't play very many attacks, unfortunately. I'm gonna use a potion and heal five HP. That's okay. Start each combat with one artifact to negate debuffs. Hmm. Um, upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. Enemy loses 15 strength this turn. Uh, uh, at the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw one card. That's interesting because I always get it. Lose six HP. <laughs> oh, um, I need to feed my cat. I'll be back in just a second. Let's see. Upgrade all your cards for the rest of combat. I already have a lot of upgraded cards, but it, like it would upgrade all my defense and stuff, which isn't bad. I already have a lot of upgraded cards. Um, offering looks interesting to me. <laughs> like, if I don't need it, I don't need it. But when I like on a boss or something, this would be sick to start with. Um, I definitely want to use the card removal service to remove one of these strikes. So let's just definitely just do that. All right. Do I want one of these? Start each combat with one artifact. I mean, sometimes debuffs are really annoying. Sadly, I'm probably not going to be playing three attacks in one turn. So the shuriken I don't think is helpful. Um, feed is really interesting for turning into a tank. But I would have to draw it when I use it. So it's also a little bit awkward. Like I'm not sure how much HP gain I'm gonna really get. Brutality being Phyrexian Arena? Yeah, right? I've noticed a lot of things are like, this is like a magic card. <laughs> yeah, I think I think feed is not the play here. I'm curious, I'm, I'm tempted to take either Offering or Brutality. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw a card. The thing is, is that I do gain HP because of burning blood, so it's like drawing extra cards is nice, but offering could really save me two energy. Draw five cards. I'm gonna take offering. Do I also take brutality? <laughs> um, there's, you know, there's like a weird world where toy ornithopter saves me because it's like on a boss fight, it's just some extra healing. If I'm popping a bunch of potions, uh, but it's not like I wouldn't say it's like a great looking or anything. Um, I have so much money though, like we gotta use it, right? It's just a question of if I want to save it. Uh, play the top three cards is such a good one, by the way. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. I like there's some time when that would be useful, but I think I'm gonna like discard that and get this play the top three cards because that one will seriously bail me out sometimes this distilled chaos it will just like win a fight for me that i was gonna lose um i'm also thinking about getting rid of smoke bomb but i guess i would take the energy potion it's not like the energy potion is super great smoke bomb could bail me out if something really bad happens 
Hmm. All right. I start each combat with one artifact. Sometimes debuffs really suck. Um. Yeah, maybe it works on Berserk. That'd be cool if it works on Berserk. The toy Ornithopter is probably not good, but like it, you could think of it as 15 max HP when I really need it. So like, I don't know. It could save me. There's a chance. All right, you find yourself in an old decorated chamber in the center of the room. A large skull sits atop ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts into flames. What is it you seek? Oh man, um, probably 90 gold. I like how you can just leave. Um, probably 90 gold. I don't know about a colorless, a random colorless card. Ninety gold. Oh. What? <laughs> I see the issue now. <laughs> I now see the issue. Uh, my God. Um. I'm worried that how do I leave isn't going to leave. I'm gonna leave. Okay. 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 I was worried it wasn't gonna leave, so I got scared, but we were okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I wanna upgrade either a shrug it off. What does Warcry do? Oh shit. Upgraded Warcry is great. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I wanna upgrade. I wanna upgrade Body Slam, Juggernaut, Shrug it off, and Warcry. Um. Body slam is quite nice to upgrade. Quite nice to upgrade. Let's get some more free body slams. All right, let's take a random adventure. Maybe I shouldn't take a random event. <laughs> I've now that I've seen enough of these random events, I'm like, ah, uh, you know, do I really want another one? I'm gonna get a mask, and it's gonna be a fucking debuff mask again, and I'm gonna be salty at life. Let's do it. Oh, it's just a fight anyway. All right, cool. Battle Trance. See, like, fuck Burning Pact. I just want Battle Trance. Let's just draw four cards. Easy. <laughs> now we have Juggernaut. <sighs> um, it's only gonna deal eight to me, so maybe we just do this. And then we body slam that bitch. Um... Sick. Yeah. Ar oh, artifact prevented the no more draws. That's really interesting. Uh, I've already got everything upgraded. So Armaments is turning to be turning out to be like not super useful here, but it's okay. We just shrug it off. We just shrug it off. Um, but probably we strike though, because <laughs> it deals more damage. Um. Silly mystic. I'm becoming frail. Um, berserk. Hmm, disarm. Or Juggernaut. Um, it feels like I want to play more Juggernaut, but Bash would be good in the sense that it weakens this guy here. I do have Metallicize coming in though, so like, that's something. But I'm I'm not gaining very much block actually, and so as much as I want to play Berserk, it's kind of gonna hurt. Yeah, I don't know. Am I okay taking that much damage? Do I need to? Um. Hmm. I don't know. This will be nice in the future, even though it's going to suck for this turn.
Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, we are one. Thank you so much for the sub. It's greatly appreciated. That guy just healed everybody up. All right, but the good news is, is now we should be, uh, now we should be cooking. Can I draw additional cards this time? Um, shrug it off. Shrug it off. Uh, probably defend plus and we start body slamming. No offering. <laughs> no offering. We don't need it. Um, battle trance just to see. Is this double block? Hell yeah. All right. Do this, double our block, we have 44 block, and then we body slam this heckin' nerd for 44. Nice. Oh, body slam is so good, holy shit. Flex potion, just five strength for one turn is... Oh, it's just a question of if we ditch the stupid smoke bomb. There's a weird chance that the smoke bomb bails me out if I miss... If I just, like... I remember there's some enemies, some elites that are like, ugh. Um, five strength doesn't help us much. Because it doesn't increase juggernaut damage, does it? Strength adds additional damage to attacks. Oh, shrug it off. <laughs> I love shrug it off so much. Oh. Question or thing? Let's do another question. A gremlin is madly shuffling cards on a table. This monster seems to be a harmless one. 12 cards. Let oh, this is the match game. Okay, so if we match the cards, then... I don't, come on, man! Come on! Dark Shackles. Injury. All right, do I want Dark Shackles? I don't think so. I mean, in a, se in a weird sense, it's like 15 block, but bad. It's only one enemy. Let's keep looking. Thunderclap, deal four damn, I don't know what it said. It happened too fast. Dark Shackles is good. We'll see. Brutality. I would take brutality if we had it. Okay. Question if I want the shackles or not. Or do I want to YOLO something else? Hmm. Sure. Let's take it. Well, I'm kind of sad that we ended up with... That other one, but whatever. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two additional energy. That's nice. We like that. Well, we can purge the bash. <laughs> Exhaust up to five cards? No. Barricade! Block is not removed at the start of your turn. Oh my goodness! I think we buy that. Add two wounds into your hand, gain 20 block. Holy shit. <laughs> 13 block. Mm. Starting combat with three thorns now. Starting combat with 10 block is okay. Toolbox. At the start of each combat, choose one of three random colors cards and add it to your hand. Interesting. I wanted to play the card removal service, but I feel like I need to get barricade. Block is not removed. There's gonna be times when we double our block and that fucking saves us. I can already tell. All right, um, do I need this for the Sneko? I love the Sneko. Sneko is so cool. I think we're already, I think we're already doing just fine. I think we just drop our Juggernaut and we live our best life. It's just one HP though. <laughs> it's just one HP. Um, 
It's just one HP. <laughs> uh, um. So, for the rest of combat, there's like a weird way that armaments is better because that defend, if it cycles all the way back around, I'll get it. Whatever. It's so perplexing, this gaze. Nice. We negated something with our artifact of doom. Mm. Barricade. Damn. I do like that. Um, it would be nice to play... Do we play Juggernaut or Barricade? This is where I really need more energy. Um, whenever you deal... It's gonna deal 15 to me. Draw four cards. I don't know if we need that. Juggernaut does snack. It does stack, yeah. As much as I like the idea of... Both barricade and... That? I don't know. I can just kill it doing this. And then I don't take any damage. I get battle trance for body slams. Yeah, I think I have battle trance for body slams. And just try to kill it. Dark shackles. Whatever. Um. Hey, I got a body slam. There you go. 33 damage. <laughs> a little bit silly, but that's okay. Just trying to kill it fast. Um. Offering. Don't end up liking that card. Honestly, probably just bash it. Because it'll apply weak on it anyway. Oh, hey, there's Berserk. Oh, let's use Warcry. Oh, good old Battle Trance. <laughs> Battle Trance is a fun card. Uh, shrug it off will be perfect here. And then we can just defend a whole bunch and use a bunch of body slams. And it'll die. Whew! Sneko down! Speed Potion. Well, 5 Dexterity is not bad. 5 Dexterity is not bad. I wish I had more potion slots. From the I think I'm gonna discard the smoke bomb and go with this and hopefully it doesn't bite us in the ass um combust <laughs> my goodness yeah disarm I didn't really end up liking at the end of your turn lose 1 HP and DS7 damage to all enemies it's very funny like I don't hate this card but I already have a lot of HP loss, so I feel like I don't need any more. I kind of think I skip here. Iron Wave isn't bad, but like, I'd rather just have Shrug it off. I think I skip, yeah. All right, here we go. I guess we're playing Brutality. <laughs> Um, they're not doing anything, so there's not a whole lot for me to do here other than just poke one of them. And then they use Ritual, I think. Oh, Incantation. Yeah, it does Ritual. Uh, yes, Silly Rabbit. Alright, there's our Juggernaut. What hit me? Did something hit me? Oh, I draw so many cards. Oh, I drew a card from getting hit by um, 
brutality that's interesting very interesting so the problem that i have right now is without using offering i just don't have enough energy to do shit i seriously need like um i need to get more energy bad real bad because like i can't even uh in a weird way, using Offering might prevent more HP than I lose here. Um, let's see, though. I don't have any shield cards. What in the world is happening? Uh, weird. Well, I can drop Juggernaut and Barricade and then, like, take 18. <laughs> uh... Will probably be good after that. Kind of shit though. Um. Offering is interesting. There's a good probability that it will prevent more than 6 HP lost this turn. But not guaranteed. <laughs> it's it's pretty likely though. I know there's a max hand size. Um, so Oh no. This could be a horrible idea, but let's yeah, okay, it ended up see it ended up being very worth it. Shrug it off is gonna produce prevent far more than the six. Alright, that ended up being really good. Um And I can still body slam and play something else. Um, God, disarm is just not not paying the dividends that I want. I might just I could do barricade. Uh, no way, we should do armament. Yeah, we should do armament. Then those will all be upgraded for later too. Okay. Yeah, this was way better. Glad I did that. Guess let's make one of them lose three strength. And then let's body slam like a different one. Alright, that was okay. Really glad I ended up taking that card that's two energy and five card draw and stuff. I like it. Alright, um, we'll shrug it off first. And then we'll battle trance later, maybe, if we want to. I don't know if I want to play that this turn. We'll see. Honestly, just playing battle, just playing this again is probably fine. There's only four cards left in my deck. Oh, I can Dark Shackle one of them. I have 30 block. I think I can play this safely. Maybe not, though. Am I gonna get again? Oh yeah, because I can Dark Shackle one of them. And... Alright, I'll put Shrug It Back back on my deck because I want it next time. Um, let's Dark Shackle this nerd. Then I can play Berserk and probably not take any damage. Um, oh, did I have the artifact anyway? I can do 30 and just kill this one. All right, now we're cooking. <laughs> Smile and wave. So barricade I haven't made use of yet, but I think on a boss fight especially, it will really come in handy. Could play it here, but eh, it just never ends up being worth it yet because of the two costs. I'm sure it will be eventually, though. All right, let's get rid of this nerd. You still got the vulnerability. Juggernaut. Should just kill it here. Yay. All right. Once this deck gets going, it's really cool. Um, 
Carnage, Hemocase. Oh god, no more health loss. I think I skipped this. Yeah. We're not into attacks here. Um, it would be fun to do the elite, but I don't need a shop. So I'm inclined to just do two of these instead. Especially because we might need to heal by the for the boss. Probably not though. Yeah, it probably would have been okay to do the elite. Okay. Um, oof, offering. <laughs> I think we do. I think we do offering. So many cards. Let's play brutality first. And then let's play offering. Draw twenty thousand cards. Um, we do have Juggernaut, so we can get cooking with Juggernaut. Let's Warcry first and see if we get our better Juggernaut. We did not. All right, Juggernaut's out. I think we'll be able to Berserk. I oh, negated it anyway. Nice. We can body slam for like 8 billion this turn too. Hell yeah. Body slam for 30 turn 1. Oh my god, I just killed this guy in turn 1 I think. Uh, either that. Well, if I just get this guy out of the way though, that's got to be good. Alright. Pretty sick. <laughs> that was sick. I ended up liking Offering and not liking Burning Pact. Um, I think we bash here. Let's drag it off and see what we draw. It's gonna hit me for 12. I think we bash for the Vulnerable. And, uh... Oh, double your block. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Strike would have been more damage. Life is a resource. I like how this guy regenerates life every time. It makes my silliness kind of work out better. Oh, Dark Shackles ends up being pretty nice in that. Okay, I understand the purpose of Dark Shackles now. <laughs> now it's like I don't care about anything anymore. Uh, juggernaut. The Palisize. Maybe one day I'll use uh, Barricade. Nerd. God, Battle Trance I really like too. Shrug. Trance. Shrug. Uh, deals. Oh, it doesn't have Strike Plus. <laughs> okay. Yay! Second Wind. Oh my gosh, second win is interesting. A double berserk. Um, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, gain seven block for each card exhausted. This could, with barricade, this could be nutty. This could be absolutely nutty with barricade. I'm getting it. Turn one barricade and then just blah, blah, blah. When I, after drawing like 8,000 cards. Um, Juggernaut and Shrug might just be the way to go here. As much as I like Battle Trance, I could Battle Trance first. There's a chance I get some things worth using. Ah, oh, Dark Shackles is nice. Yeah, Body Slam is also nice. Definitely get Juggernaut out. Um, shrug. Body slam. Um, let's just deal damage to this one. Because this one's going to vulnerable me when it dies. Does Berserk stack? I have no idea. What a hand. Um, they're gonna do a lot of damage though, so 
As much as I want to play that other juggernaut, I'm not sure if we can. Uh, maybe save that for next turn, because I can't cast it this turn with everything else I want to do. I want to get down Metallicize. Oh, whoops. I was just going to pick it back up. But actually, I think I ended up... Oh, whatever. Um, I can just upgrade everything, I guess. Shelled Parasite. Oh, I actually didn't get a full block coverage right there. Whoops. I used my other block better. Didn't pay attention to that. Hey, there's Barricade. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. Having this frail is very bad. Not digging the frail. Might be a time when offering is the be is the lesser evil. Because this is only going to give me 12 block from that. And then, yeah, this is going to be a time when offering is the lesser evil. And then we can just not take damage instead. Oh, second wind. <laughs> Barricade second wind. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of funny. For the memes. For the memes. <laughs> it's a shame I can't but do double my block after that. Uh, but I suppose it makes sense to use my... Wait, all non-attack cards. What if I just use this and I use second card? <laughs> Uh, oh, it does count each one of those. That's cool. Yay, and now I just keep my extra block. Oh, I'm like feeding this guy stuff, aren't I? But we can body slam him for 20 billion, so I think we just do that. Ugh. There we go. Maybe it'll die to metallicize. Yeah. Taking a little too much damage, but whatever. I don't think we take any of these. I mean, headbutt could come in handy at some point. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. It could come in handy. We're just going to skip. I'm going to heal up, and let's do it. Here we go. Please draw Juggernaut or Barricade in my opening hand. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think we offering this. And hope. Yay! Alright, this is- now we're talking. Um... Juggernaut. Talus eyes. Start shrugging. Second wind! <laughs> oh shit. Shrug. Body slam is an attack, so second wind body slam is gonna be huge. Um Disarm would be cool to use, but this is like a funny combo, so. I also kinda wanna play Berserk. Because it gets negated anyway, right? Um, do we burning pact a uh, strike <laughs> in hopes of more things to second win? Uh, I think we're good. I think we just second win this. I mean, it could disarm him. Whatever, fuck it. <laughs> YOLO! All right, that was a good turn one. <laughs> um, and we still have a bunch of potions and shit to use. Oh, we don't have barricade yet. That's right. Ooh, dark shackles, nice though. And uh, let's get barricade cooking. Yeah, that's good. May as well entrench and see what we get. 
War Crime. Can't cast all these. Um, actually, wait. Let's put one of these back for next turn because we want it. Um, maybe I just. Well, it's not gonna hurt me though. Yeah, let's play. Sh let's get Shrug next turn. We're gonna use it. I think we're gonna use it more next turn. Yeah, and we'll just defend it. Entrench. Making it deal no damage is so much better now with Barricade. I did debuff and get a bunch though. Alright, definitely get that second Juggernaut cooking, and then just start shrugging. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll have enough to... Hmm. Do I want to upgrade? Add just more block. Could be, could be an argument for that, for like, getting... Because it's about to reshuffle my cards, and I have enough block to not take any damage. This could help more next next round this is the easiest this boss fight's ever gone oh shrug it off in second wind <laughs> the body slam uh, mm. drug 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 double your block <laughs> Oh, if only I could cast Second Wind and Entrench, but I think we just cast Entrench. Yeah. 70 block! Body slap for 70, motherfucker! <laughs> like, I could... I could use potions and shit, but who needs potions? The snowball begins! <laughs> Have a free shot, futile, weak thing. Shrug. Keep shrugging. Card, card, card. Uh, bashing him isn't the worst idea to apply some debuffs. Uh, yeah. Apply some debuffs, sure. Uh, let's buff all these cards in my hand and then. Casual body slam for 67. Oh, 101, and that was with weak on. <laughs> oh, we <butts>. bought. <laughs> Double your strength. Ah, that only hurts. Works if you have plus strength, right? Damn it, I don't want any of these. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't have any strength by default, so this doesn't actually do anything, right? Because I don't have any plus strength. The true power cade of barricade and entrench. Yeah, Reaper I was thinking of just because um, I have a lot of health lost, so it's kind of nice. But it's also two energy, which is just really odd. <laughs> Limit break can double negative strength. Um, so, like, I could get Reaper and upgrade it. The upgrade is not... If the upgrade made it cost one, I would totally get it, but... I don't know if I'm going to end up. I already struggle for, I'm already like hungry for energy. So I'll skip it. We get a relic though. Can no longer obtain potions. Uh, pick, I'm on pick up, transform three cards and upgrade them. I'm pretty sure that this randomly destroys three of my cards, which sounds horrid. Double the effectiveness of potions. I'm doing this this time. Oh, but having an extra energy would be actually quite big for me. Having an extra energy is actually pretty big in this deck. So... You get to pick which to transform. Oh, do you? Okay, that's cool. Not taken Sozu. I like potions. But yeah, I think I think the energy is big for this particular character. Let's do it. I still get to keep my three potions. Uh will we go with low half health? No, I don't or did we? Shit, that might have been a scam. Uh oh. Will we win game? Will we win game? Uh, 
Um, coming at me for 15. Let's see what else we get. Oh, good old body slam. While well, we're probably not body slamming. I don't know what we're doing. I think we're barricading and bashing it. This bash will weaken it. And then we're tanking it. Let's put body slam back, I think. I could also barricade and defend, but nah, bash is better for sure. Um, Let's put body slam back because we're not going to use it this turn. Uh, let's at least get barricade out. All right. Well, we're taking 11. <laughs> we're doing well, Seth. Ooh, second wind. We do love to see second wind. Oh, yeah. We love to see all this. <laughs> it's kind of, oh, If I had Juggernaut, I would just Juggernaut second wind and not even think about it. But don't have Juggernaut yet. Mm. I think we draw a card with shrug. Draw a card with shrug. See what we get. Oh yeah. Draw a card with shrug. I'm probably I'm not gonna play offering. We need to gain some health back. I think we second wind and body slam the shit out of this guy. Armaments is good too though. Nah, second wind. Body slam the shit out of him. Boom. <laughs> oh, all right. Yo, princess, thank you so much for the sub. It's greatly appreciated. Um. Well. Die. <laughs> Entropic brew. Too bad I can't. Oh, what do we got here? Dual wield. Choose an attack or power card. Add two copies of that to your hand. Do I have a lot of power cards? I mean, I don't think... Having, like, a whole ton of juggernauts in my hand isn't going to help because I can't cast them anyway. Warcry Plus is great. I feel like Warcry Plus gets me what I need. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Nope. I think Warcry Plus is just a great card. Let's get that. Do I have money to spend? I have 200. Maybe we save up for another shop. Or I could delete a card. Delete another strike from my deck. It's not bad. This deck is the strongest. We had some crazy, like, infinite combos going on. Um, I'll skip shop now and do the next shop. Ooh, thorns. Warcry Plus! Uh, we might use Offering. No. Uh, no, we should use Burning Pact, probably. Hmm. We need to get something going here. It's either Burning pa Let's do Burning Pact first. Um... Maybe the body slam, honestly. We'll surely get something better than that, right? Oh god! <laughs> well, we're looking hot looking more and more like we're gonna be using offering. Um We can bash this nerd. Which reduces its damage dealt to eight. So probably with offering we will mitigate more than eight or more than six damage. So yeah, definitely. Alright. Could do barricade and then defend plus. Um, probably barricade. Defend plus. And then we can body slam this nerd. Probably don't do battle trance. I mean, I could battle trance in hopes of lucking into another body slam, but. Do I really want to? Berserk would also be okay. Hello. All right, Berserk is fine. I wasted some good cards though.
None of them are attacking. That's interesting. Talicize. Shrug time. Shrug time. Ooh, there's Juggernaut. Um, this doesn't do anything, right? <laughs> I don't think it does anything. Oh, did it exhaust it? I guess maybe I could have used it. Like, I could have left it in my deck or something. I'm being dazed! Oh my god, they're going into my, like, draw pile, so I'm like... It's kind of scary. Okay, definitely want to get down another Juggernaut. Yeah. Armaments first, so I can use a Warcry Plus. Uh, let's see what we get with our Warcry. Probably Daze, yeah. Yay, Daze. Can I discard Daze? All non-attack cards. Ooh. I'm hoping that I can discard Daze with Second Wind here. Please work like that. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. And I can body slam this nerd for 40. Cool, that worked out well. Bloodletting. Nope. <laughs> I have too much HP loss in this deck as it is. Oh, it's so tempting though. It's only 3 HP. It's only 3 HP. <laughs> I did it. Warcry Plus, so nice. Well, we can at least bash it. Though I wish we got something else. Disarm is good too. Um, do we, uh, Shrug's not gonna help us. Actually, I kind of want to draw that card just so I don't draw it again later, so it is good. It is going to help us. Yeah, because we can discard the, the strike, which is nice. Alright. Rargh! Here it comes. Two? What? <laughs> Why is it only hitting me for two? Um, definitely want Juggernaut out. May as well not take two damage. Lol. Lol. Let's do Metallicize. This is so good. I mean, we could body slam it for more, but... I want this one out for later. And just shrug time. Oh! Can't play second wind. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. No, we have a great impression. The maw. Barricade sounds nice. Bloodletting. Um, it's just buffing, so surely we're fine to drop a barricade and a juggernaut and do fucking nothing. 3 HP. <sighs> nah. It's not worth it this turn. Alright, we're really set up for future turns here. Hopefully it's not gonna like... I forget what this thing does exactly. 3 strength. Hmm, shrug. We shrugging. We defending. We bashing. We entrenching. We slamming. I think we're doing good. The maw is the law. Yeah, minus three strength. You're right. That's why it did so little. Um. Pretty sure I just battle trance this. We can armaments. That's ah, battle trance first. Um, I'm not losing any more life. I can't draw any more cards this turn, so we bash in. Bash is good though. Makes it weak. I ended up appreciating having bash in the deck quite a bit. Those are his hands, not its legs. Ah! Uh, shrug. Shrug. Second wind. 
Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I was gonna be the biggest body slam ever. All right. Um. Ooh. I like this. As much as I would like another body slam, I like this. This will help me cast multiple juggernauts and things in one turn. Okay. Um. Moving on. We're addicted, Brusque. It doesn't even damage you, right? Do I even want it if it doesn't damage me? Uh, shrug and see what we get, I guess. Shrug and see what we get, I guess. Or cry and see what we get, I guess. I don't think I, I think I'm gonna put Shrug back and take an, and wait until next turn because frick that. Oh, what a turn! Come on! <laughs> I need my cards. Okay, um... What are we doing with our lives right now here? Second wind. I don't have Juggernaut or anything. <laughs> oh. Shrug. Shrug. There's Barricade. Alright, let's just drop Barricade and pretend none of this ever happened. Of course, we had the opportunity to use Offering, but I don't think so. Well, there's Juggernaut. Let's Dark Shackles this nerd. That ended up being pretty useful for us. Um, definitely need a Juggernaut. Do we metallicize or drop another Juggernaut? I feel like we metallicize. Too bad I don't have any block. Maybe we just drop the other Juggernaut. We got our cards in kind of a bad order this time. Did not work out super great for us. Yeah. Happens. All right, we can body slam for eight. These guys all need to die at the same time. So let's just distribute the damage. Juggernaut. I probably should have played Metallicize instead of the other Juggernaut. Alright, here we go. Now we're talking. Um, I kind of want to just play Second Wind here. <laughs> oh, we got to do Battle Trance first. Let's do Battle Trance and then Second Wind. And then I think we're good. <laughs> uh, Alright. We can body slam one of them for 50, but we need to be a little careful. Just kill that one. And now we just go in for the kill. Oh, did I not play Metallicize? I should have played Metallicize. I'm getting two. Oh, yeah, the artifact keeps saving me, to be honest. Artifacts are good. Explosive potion, doesn't matter. Anger plus! Reckless charge. Uh, three weak has, there's some way, there's some way that this could be useful with the three weak, but I already have enough bashing to go around. I 
think we skip. And then we'll see how this battle goes and decide if we do the elite or not. Well, Dark Shackles ends up being pretty nice on that. And we can bash that nerd. All right. Oh, what did I do? Oh, this is the one that ramps, isn't it? Oopsies. Uh-oh, what does it do? I should read things. I didn't read something. Upon receiving attack damage gains three block. No, I don't understand what happened. Oh, wait. No, I don't know what happened. Hmm. Upon receiving attack damage, it changes its intent. Oh, I see. I just did something different. Um. Okay, we have a really nice set of things here. Can we make it all happen? We could just we could just play a barricade and a juggernaut and probably be happy. Let's see if we get the thing that gives us extra. Hmm, probably gonna put that one back on top for next turn. But we could also take three HP and. Well, I'm probably not fighting the thing anyway. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just berserk. Double juggernaut barricade. Uh, probably just disarm this nerd. Yeah. And we'll be good for next turn. Parasite. Um, I didn't get to read it fast enough. It's okay. Shrug time. Shrug. Bash. Bash could be good. So could Metallicize Second Wind. I could just do Bash Second Wind. Um, I can probably use that this turn with Battle Trance. Can I draw additional cards? Let's do Warcry first. Uh, oh, okay. Put that back. Let's play Burning Pact. I'm not going to use Offering. Shrugging. Double your block. All right, we could just one-shot it here. Yeah, we should just be able to one-shot it here. Shrug. Shrug. Uh, double your block. <laughs> Body slam for 225. Uh, that's fun. I love Battle Trance. Um, I love Shrug It Off. Oh, two good cards. Two good cards. Um, Battle Trance. Having multiple of them is like it. It could help me on. The, it could help me turn one get cooking. So that's the reason I like having a second Battle Trance. I got to be a little careful with it though. Uh, sadly, I don't think I can fight the Elite safely. I think I just have to go heal up. <laughs> Keep going. Oh shit, Parasite. If transformed or removed from your deck, lose three max HP. I don't think I realized that that was permanently added to my deck. <laughs> uh, sick. Um, it's gonna hit me for nine. Maybe I start with the shrug and then war cry. Start with the shrug, then war cry. See if we can get nothing. Curse, unplayable. If transformed or removed from your deck, lose three max HP. Huh. 
Parasite. Um, what am I gonna use next turn? One, two, three, four, five. I can cast everything this turn, so whatever. Um, let's see. Let's bash this nerd. Exploder. Yeah, I wanna do. I wanna deal with this one first because it explodes. So let's kill that one. being dazed what is this one over here exhausted cards holy do I have seeing red yes see this is exactly why I want to see red so I can play barricade and juggernaut in the same turn um hey second wind works pretty good here double your block Mm, but I think we second win. No, do I battle trance first? And then I second win. JK, I shrug it off first. Alright, second win for 20 million. Mm. <laughs> This is a cool deck. I like it. Ah, uh, it's Warcry. Oh. Um, definitely happy with my second battle trance plan. Bashing this nerd wouldn't be the worst idea. But let's do Burning Pack for Offering, because I'm not going to use Offering this game. We'll be shrugging. Oh, there's the body slam of our dreams. Um, I'm not sure if we need battle trance or if we just bash it. Because bash is going to be really... Oh, it has artifact, so it's not going to be that helpful. Um, yeah, deals 58 damage. Oh, that kills it. <laughs> All right, nice. Gain three strength. Blood for blood. Not very good. Strength effect this card five times. You could do some cool strength comboing, but not useful for this deck, I don't think. Wait, we're already at another fireplace? I guess we're finally getting an upgrade. All right, what are we upgrading? Shrug, Juggernaut, Warcry. All good options. Honestly, this extra, this upgraded Warcry would it's gonna help me get like my. It's gonna help me get rolling in the beginning, depending. Now, do we want to fight the elite or not? I have full health. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Smiley face. Bottle lightning. Um, upon pickup, choose a skill. Start each combat with this card in your hand. <laughs> Whoa. Um. So do we go with, oh, it's only skills. It's not powers. Um, but I mean, starting with battle trance in my hand is pretty nice. I think we do battle trance. Offering would be good for a boss. Battle trance would be just good in, for everything. Seeing red is interesting, but if I don't draw anything good, I want battle trance. So. Yeah, offering. <laughs> the thing about offering is it's the same amount of life I get with burning blood. So if I just always use offering, you can make an argument that like, I'm just gonna not take damage then and then gain my six HP back. So I see that, I see that as a opportunity as well. Um. Play Brutality, play Battle Trance, right? Yeah, play Battle Trance. Very happy. Oh, is this Nemesis? I forget what this nerd does. Um, get Metallicize cooking. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not a great hand. Um, we could get a bunch of block, but I feel like it'd be better to just double our block and then do some body slam with it. Uh, so at least we're dealing some damage here. But not a great hand, not a great hand. Right, then it goes intangible. That's good for me though. Ah, Parasite! Go away, Parasite. Alright, we need Juggernaut. Ooh, seeing red, yay. Uh, let's just play Juggernaut for free, which we are a big fan of. Let's get some shrugging. I might want to skip this turn. How do I want to play this? I'll buy two vulnerable be good for the next turn. But there's a chance we can get we wanna we wanna start storing our block. Let's play Burning Pack and get rid of that. Sadly we didn't get um we can play armaments for later. It's either that or bash, I think. I don't want to draw any more cards because there's a good chance of me starting to draw something I actually just want. So, and I'm only doing one damage to it, it's fine. Then it does its thing. Burned! Ouch. Alright, there's our barricade and berserk and offering, all of which seem good here. Definitely want barricade down. Just a question of what else we're gonna play. Let's start with a war cry. Dark Shackles, I think, is huge here. Dark Shackles makes it not do any damage to me, so now we can just focus on. Well, do I still have my artifact? Uh, or did I lose my artifact somewhere in there? Yeah, I think it still won't hurt me, even if I have Berserk. Um. And. I'm gonna battle. Do I, I already have battle. I already have barricade down. Let's. Yeah, second juggernaut's good. Okay, let's see what we want to draw next turn. Oh. But choose a, what? I don't think I understood what just happened right there. Um, I think I'm gonna play juggernaut this turn. So. I'll just leave that there. Haha. -ha. Alright. Um, sadly, I got all my damaging shit, and I can't hurt it this turn, I don't think, very much. So, we can at least farm block. Yeah, we can farm block and then entrench. Oh. What do I keep? Am I. I thought I had an extra energy. I don't know what I just did. I thought I had an extra energy. I don't know what I just did right there. I need to go sleep. <laughs> Uh, no, Rex. It's just a blanket over my chair. Alright, now we can actually hurt it. Shrug, shrug. Um, battle trance. Yeah. Body slam the shit out of it because it's not intangible. Oh, let's second wind. Yeah, second wind. And slam the shit out of it, and it's dead. Nice. Full health. Question card. Future cards. Future card rewards have one additional card to choose from. I don't think I'm gonna have any more of that. Future card rewards have one additional card. What are cards? Um, spot weakness. None of these look good for me. Oh. I understand now. <laughs> Cause see how it's a card? You see how it's a card though? I was like, are there artifact cards other than this card? Why is it a card then? It shouldn't be a card. Alright, um, let's see, I don't think I want this, or this, so, skip a <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> All right, let's get this. Let's get this over with. Is this a? Mm, started with Juggernaut. Like to see that. Um, draw four cards. You cannot draw additional. Cards. Yeah, I think we would use that. I could use Shrug first, but in fact, I could just use. Shrug, Juggernaut, and Metallo size. That wouldn't be bad. But I want to see if I get the... Um, let's do Shrug first. So I'm going to play it anyway. Let's use this because I want to see if I get extra energy somewhere in here. Sadly did not. So I think just... Juggernaut. I could do Juggernaut and Second Wind and not take damage this turn. Or Juggernaut and Metallo size for future preparation. Hmm. Definitely playing Juggernaut. Just a question of do we use second wind so we don't take any damage. I've got 11 block already. Metallicize will take us to 15, so we'll take a bit of damage. Take what, 6 damage? Um, but better in the future, I think. Yeah, I heal 6, right? Assuming I take no more damage, which is not a guarantee. Ooh, these double Warcry pluses are nice. All right, shrug time. Um, oh, maybe I should have played another Juggernaut first. Now that I think about it, let's start with my Warcries though. Well, I can't, actually I would have been okay. I was like, I can't have too many cards in my hand, but this is fine. Um. Probably not going to be able to play everything I want here, but let's see what we got. I'm hoping for an energy gain. Darn. <laughs> um, let's probably put this shrug back. Maybe let's put entrench back. Get that one next time. Wait, no, because Shrug will draw it anyway, so let's use Entrench instead of Shrug, yeah. Alright, or do I want to use, well, I'll use Berserk. Probably this. Body slam this guy. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, I don't have... Oh, there's Seeing Red. Um, definitely gonna use that. Let's use Shrug first before we Battle Trance. Um, don't think I want to use Offering. Let's just use Battle Trance and see if we can get away with not using Offering. There's Barricade, finally. Well, Dark Shackles you. Um, Bash you. Um, I think just defend here, to be honest. Yeah. Um, body slam you, because you have the highest health. Don't lose any more HP. Ah, uh, parasites. Nothing like some parasites. All right, well now we're doing pretty good now that we have barricades, so shrug time, I guess. And then a huge second wind. Um, burning packed second wind, I think. Yeah, second wind. And now we can body slam for 20 billion. <laughs> okay, he didn't even need the other body slam. Alright. I do like seeing red. Let's take another one of those. And... Um... Do we want another upgrade? I think there's a couple cards that I would really like to upgrade, so I'm gonna take the extra upgrade. 
for instance, Juggernaut and Shrug are both prime t candidates here. Shrug so good. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Sure. Shrug or not. Lose all gold, obtain a relic. Well, I think that's good. Requires red mask. Tomb of the Lord Red Tomb of Lord Red Mask. There aren't any there's nothing else to use my gold for anyway, so. Red mask! Start of each comment, apply one week to all enemies. Wow. Take from others as I have taken from you. <laughs> what? Um I wonder what happens. Oh, this guy is fucked! This guy is fucked. This is one where you just have to survive. I mean, that's good for my deck, I think. Hopefully. We're gonna have to just tank all the things here. All right, Battle Trance for sure is Uh We could Dark Shackles this one, which is nice. Juggernaut's not useful here. We just need to get to... Um, one Vulnerable will be okay for this turn. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I have so much energy, right? Surely it'll be fine. Um, is there any point in playing Juggernaut? I don't think so. I think we just... Second wind. It doesn't matter, right? Nothing matters. Nothing matters! I shouldn't have... I should have left something on my deck for next turn. You have killed it with a silly thing. Yeah, I've read his ability before. Upon losing HP. Oh yeah, loses that much strength. Oh, I should have played Juggernaut. I forgot about that. I forgot. I thought we just had the tank. Oopsies. Forgot how it worked. <laughs> Oopsies. Let's play Metallicize. Let's play Warcry. Oh, at least we got another Juggernaut. Um... Keep drawing that parasite. I need to just get rid of it. I mean, either way, it's something I don't want right now. Uh, okay, we definitely do want to play Juggernaut. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, we definitely do want to play Juggernaut. Definitely want to play Seeing Red. All right. Uh, shrug. Get rid of this. Draw some cards. Okay, there's Barricade. Good, good. Um, yeah, whoopsie daisy right there. Probably want barricade. Though this thing does so much damage, it's almost like, am I ever gonna actually build it up? But I think we still want barricade. The downside is it's gonna, how, what do I have left in my deck? I mean, I could play, um, I could draw bloodletting or seeing red. So I think I play Barricade, because I for sure want it. And then I play Battle Trance to see if we get any. Oh, I guess I could have played Battle Trance first. All right, I got Seeing Red anyway, so. Didn't have to worry about it. Uh, shrug, and then we double our block for Shurzies. Yeah, double our block. And then we Body Slam him so he doesn't do any damage to us. Sick. And then we do another Body Slam because it's fun. <laughs> All right, almost fucked that up. Uh, Unmighty, thank you for 72 months. Slay that spire, thank you. Slaying it. All right, we should be very good here. Um, I like Bash, just because it applies weak. Let's shrug. Let's shrug. Um. See. Definitely better to use defend than any of these, I think. Yeah, it's better to use this. Yeah. All right, we'll take uh, 20 off of our block, but well, not even. It's possible to kill it before he just dies. I feel like you'd have to have a lot of attack cards in your deck, or like a lot of th things that attack multiple times. Good old shrugging. Every day we be shrugging. Nice. Can play these defend pluses now. Though Bash Plus has some bonus as well, but for the weak. 
But this is very nice too, of course. It is gonna hit me for 30, but I think we'll be fine. Nine 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 blog body slam. <laughs> Incredible. Well, we can burning pack uh, this guy and try to just oh battle trance. Yeah, we can do a big second wind body slam here. Do you can do? Oh gosh. <laughs> Shrug. Uh, this is gonna be nice. Um, I guess we're second winding, or are we entrenching? We're entrenching first, now we're second winding. Smarter boy. All right, 203 block. I could have done, yeah, maybe I could have done a bash or something. It would have been good. Oh, well. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, we can, We almost killed it. Dies this turn. Getting there. Flex. Nope. Cleave. Nope. Uppercut. Nope. I think not. Strength is not super helpful for us. All right, that was fun. I like that guy. And now we can upgrade one more time and fight the boss. I wonder if we'll fight a new boss this time. What's it gonna be? Juggernaut, defend, bash. All good options, let's do Juggernaut. Here we go. Oh, this is the one that I got already. All right, I've done this one before. Um, brutality. Being red. Oh yeah, every 12 hits it does silly things. All right. Uh, let's play Battle Trance. Nice. We can we can drop both Barricade and Juggernaut turn one. You love to see it. Nice. You love to see it. Metallicize. May as well bash this nerd. I'm not gonna draw a card, but that's okay. Oh wait. Oh, it's because of my artifact. I forgot about that. That's okay. This guy's a good 99 body slam contender. <laughs> also, I gotta remember I have potions and shit, so at some point I should do that. Ah, company. Alright, it's gonna take my turn uh, once I use four more, so we gotta be a little careful about that. Yeah, sadly I'm gonna lose my turn here, so it's just a matter of what we wanna do first. Let's negate 15 of its damage, that feels useful. And all we got, sadly, is a bunch of block to be had here. And then we have one more turn here. Um, probably just another shrug, just stacking all that block that we can. We lose our turn after this, so... 11 block is good. Speed pot artifact. I should use my potions. <laughs> There's no point in not using my potions here. Um, all right. War cry. Using a bunch of cards is kind of like eh, against this guy, but whatever. More juggernaut, very good. And I'll take the vulnerable this turn for the extra energy later. But let's, uh, burning pack. Oh wait, I don't have too much mana left. Oh well. It's fine, just slowly working on his timer. May as well use offering and shit. May as well use Offering. Get some ramp going here. Double your block. Too bad I keep getting second wind and that, but I mean, it's not bad, I guess. 
Um, yeah, let's just use this first to double our block. Then, there's not a whole lot to get with this, but what else do I have to do? We can at least body slam for 63. It probably would have been better to not use that last strike so that I don't lose my turn super fast. Ouch. Oh yeah, I gotta use these. Gotta use my potions. Well, I can double my block, so... Um, I think we just shrug and entrench, and that's all we got this time. The bash is nice, too, for playing weak. Use the speed potion. I'll use the speed potion not now, but like next turn. I wonder if Bash is better for the weakness. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm too lazy to math this right now. The extra block seems better. Alright, now we should be able to do some good stuff. <laughs> Shrug. We do have second wind and burning pact. Ooh, okay, let's. Burning pact. Um, because of second wind, I'm gonna burning pact and bash. Oh, good, parasite. Let's use seeing red and battle trance. get quite a bit out of this. 106 block. Taking lots of damage too. I'll just ditch these so I can do more next turn. I've really got to use my potion. Alright, next turn I'm using potions. Yeah, saving the potions for next game. <laughs> as all as is tradition. There's Entrench. Oh man. Alright, whatever. Speed potion. Play the top three cards. Will it add three to its thing? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it does add three to its thing. Well, shit. <laughs> However, we can at least entrench body slam, body slam for the win here. GG's. 180 block. Um, all right, let's drink a random potion for fun. Whirlwind, Iron Wave. Yeah. Well, this build was OP. <laughs> this build was sick. <laughs> uh, Sophia D, thank you for the two months. This build was sick. The thump. The deep pulse. We've already... We've done this before. We did this already. We've done 2,375 damage to the heart. Cool. All right. Well, that is our last win of the... Um, the ones that are shown on the ending screen. What do we unlock? Oh, relics. Negates curses. Normal enemies can drop an additional. Oh, they do just drop an additional card. Cool. You can dig for relics. Sick. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Now we got all the glowies. What does it mean? What does this do? We got glowies. What does it mean? Why? It didn't tell me what it does. We have this new character now. Um. <laughs> should I? St so I don't have time for the run today. Should I click this just to see something new, or not yet? Not yet. We'll have to. Should I? I have to wait until I do the whole run. Just wait. Okay. Next time, next time we will do the new character and see what happened. See what, uh, see what was unlocked. Super cool. Really fun game. I hope you all have enjoyed it as well. Thanks for coming out, Sir B and T. Thank you for the two months. Sage Vo. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, Unmighty. 
Uh, Deal Boss, thank you for the ten dollars. They say have a good stream. Thank you. Thank you, Princess. Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, We Are Mun. Thank you, uh, Dutch Geo. For the seven months. Game is very good. Thank you, Soto. Uh, Soto says, what is the Lich's favorite sauce? Gravy. <laughs> Love your YouTube content. Thank you, Digi Live. Thank you. Um, huge Munchkin. They have the sub. Vesper. They have the eighty-two months. Holy butts. That's a lot of months. Thank you, D12. Thank you, Dasher. Thank you, Day. Thank you, Pooped. Anybody I missed? Greatly appreciated. All right, next time we'll try the next one. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.